And we are live. Greetings, YouTube. Kunde's here. And actually, greetings, Twitch, I should say. Also, Kunde's here. And we are going to be streaming some Europa, some Europa, some Europa Universalis 4. Clearly, I'm tripping on my tongue. Great intro I got there. Amazing. Anyway, I'm going to be streaming some Europa Universalis 4. Um, as I finished my run for YouTube last time, my Orissa run, I got a special request to go for Dracula's Revenge as Valakia. So that is what we're going to be doing today, and potentially for the next few sessions at least, where we're going to be attempting the very hard start of Valakia. We're probably going to be dying a lot to it. There's going to be a bunch of restarts, I expect. And um, from there, we are going to attempt to conquer and form Romania and conquer all of the Balkans. And that's going to involve, well, dying to the Ottomans a lot, most likely. But we'll see what we can make happen. So we're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna call it uh, Dracula. Dracula. It's time for Dracula. Let's do it. It's an Iron Man doing it. Very 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 difficult start for Valachia. Actually harder than Byzantium by most accounts. I did do a bit of research for how to actually start this. I did not actually do any test runs. Um, I did try a few runs as Moldavia in the past, not for. Uh, streaming or for YouTubing in general. So I have a vague idea of how the region looks like, although clearly the fact I never got the achievement suggests that I struggled even with Moldavia. So that is not... Uh, that is going to be a very difficult thing. Our goal is this, as Valakia or Moldavia from Romania and own or have a subject on all of the Balkans. So I want to literally own all of this, um, which definitely involves killing the Ottomans. Uh, let's begin by seeing who has rivaled us. We've only been rivaled by Moldavia, which is fine. We're gonna hate him back because he stinks. Um, who did Hungary rival? Hungary has rivaled the Ottomans, which is good for us. He's been rivaled by Poland, which is not as good for us, but I guess that's kind of okay. Uh, Serbia's just kind of there. Byzantium hates other people. And the Ottomans are very hostile towards us, so we're gonna mark ourselves as threatened that may help Hungary want to protect us uh, we love Hungary with a heart we certainly do he will accept the royal marriage so we have a good chance off the bat um, 7 out of 10 we can build 3 more troops what does our economy support <laughs> nothing really <laughs> max that slider because never want corruption ever no matter what uh, build some infantry, uh, which looks good. Prepare to attack Moldavia. He is guaranteed by Poland, but if he allies something that is not Poland, that has no real good friends, that is an option for us to attack. So we have a royal marriage with Hungary. Can we ally anyone? Is there anything that is willing to ally us at all? That does not exist. Teodoro might. Um, but Teodoro is irrelevant, Odoyev's irrelevant, Riazan's irrelevant, Bohemia not so irrelevant. Hey, Bohemia, let's talk about potential friendship between you and I. And also, Hungary, I need to convince you to ally me, but he is neutral towards me. We'll see if that changes since I am threatened by the Ottomans. Uh, there's that plus 20 right there, which definitely helps a lot. Um, and now that we're married, who knows what might happen. Let's, uh, let's see where that takes us. Let's definitely have a look. Uh, can I get a general? I have Vlad II as my starting ruler. Um, my hair is not very good. May he die a horrible death. And I forgot to play with the estates, so we're gonna do just that. My boyars cannot give me a general, but they can give me a ton of military points, so we're gonna do that. My burgers can give me some ducats, which we'll take. I have Cossacks. I should give something to the Cossacks. I should give something to the clergy, too. Um, that's a pretty bad trade good. There's a fort here, so I should give that to the Boyars, but the Boyars already have uh, Bujo, which makes them very, very needy. Um, hmm. Maybe I can give Svedin to the clergy. That brings them to 42.8, so that's good. 
Um, that allows me to seek their support, recruit an Inquisitor, recruit a Minister, and get myself 150 admin points, which will be key. Uh, I could raise a Cossack host if I get their influence higher up. Can I give a teeny? Actually, that's that's a livestock, which I guess is good for the Cossacks as well as the. Oh, I can't give Altinia to the. Can I give this to the Cossacks? I cannot because it's not steps. So that's. Uh, why do I even have Cossacks? <laughs> they do not have any land in my country, but I have Cossacks. <laughs> Go figure. Okay. Um. I have Vlad II, which is probably a better general than my hair, but I want my hair to die, so we're gonna do that for now. We've gained humiliate rival against Moldavia. Did you ally anyone? He has yet to ally anyone. If he doesn't ally anyone, I can't attack him with uh, by attacking his friend. So that's unfortunate. We'll see what we can have happen. He has allied someone. He allied Byzantium. Which is kind of dangerous, because Byzantium can use boats. Um, he has put some people in this fort. I am going to attempt, because usually the Ottomans don't give access to Byzantium. Um, we're going to do that. So I am after Basarabia. I am very much after Basarabia. Let's see what we can make happen. The surrender of Maine, they went to war. Hooray! Can we start? Very low in the siege pip. We'll see what we can have happen. Oh no, my units are gonna get killed. That 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 would have made sense if I built them elsewhere. Can I put like Vlad the Third? Let's see what we can make happen with that. I have I have high doubts. Uh, I can bump up stability. Maybe just a little. Um I think now that should be a mission. Do I not have my force limit? Oh, I don't have my force limit yet. Now I do. Built the force limit. We have some more morale of armies. I don't think it's gonna help much. Uh, January 17th. You're free on January 19th, so you are dead. I have lost an infantry. But, uh, yeah, it's dead. It's just straight up dead. Not a big loss. It's just unfortunate. Maybe kind of annoying. He's not going to be able to do anything to the fort with six troops. Um, I might be able to take this fort quickly if I'm lucky and like I get lucky rolls of killing people. That can happen. There's like no one in it. He yeah uh, he always apparently he always uh, mod balls this fort at the start of the game. I should assume that Byzantium will not do anything for a bit at least because the Ottomans won't give access to anyone. Oh, he got Buzo, so I'm gonna... I am going to... Um, does he have a Siege Pip? He has a Siege Pip. That's gonna be annoying. I'm gonna bring these troops over to Basarabia. If he starts with a Siege Pip, I have to dislodge him. Um, he built a horse. He's building troops. He's trying to pass me. I can probably build another... I can build a mercenary, which will help. It will also help the manpower. Um, I assume he will bring that horse to Bujo. I should be able to uh, take care of that when that happens. Yeah, now I'm going to... I'm going to have to dislodge him. So once the horse is movement locked, I'm going to go and kill it. There we go. We're gonna go kill that horse. We're gonna go kill the stack on uh, Juju. And oh, he's uh, trying to save his horse. April 30, May 2nd. So the infantry will arrive later, which is fine by me. The horse is dead. Had a feeling. He's not crossing a river to attack me. He barely has more morale than me, but I have more discipline than him. Um, he's rolling nines in the fire phases. That is not good. But now he's losing a shock phase pretty badly. Thankfully the fire phases are irrelevant and I do outnumber him. So I drove him out. Continue the siege. 
Gotta make sure, because there's an event that'll fire at some point that'll turn Moldavia into a vassal of someone. And I have to beat that siege before then. Otherwise, I'm in trouble. I'm currently losing money mostly to reinforcements, but still. Um, I have a spare merchant. Uh, I'll send it to collect in Constantinople, may as well. Because I don't have any trade power anyway, but hey, every little bit of money helps. So we're gonna go with that. Um... Yeah, now we're just waiting for the siege, hoping that we beat the clock. And we are also looting it, which helps the economy a little. Bujo unseized itself, which is good. I have some angry nobles. They're, they're gonna get over it. They will have to get over it. Um, supply shortage still. There's now still oh, there's still 133. I've killed only seven people from this siege. It's not been a very productive siege at killing people. So um, we're gonna have to uh, pick up the pace, guys. Get that siege going. Kill these people. Uh, he is reinforcing his stack. I did kill the horse, though, so at least he has to rebuild another horse if he wants to have another horse. I suspect he won't try to fight me again, but that general is not very good. And of course, now we roll the status quo, which is not what we need to be rolling. Um... Okay, he's coming back. I think I should just let him be. He has 8 troops, I have 10 troops. I do outnumber him. He doesn't have a very good general. So at least we're kind of matched on that. I'm just gonna try to base race him. And thankfully, as I suspected, Byzantium has not showed up yet. I had a feeling he would not really be able to. Um, we're gonna have to see what happens there. We're gonna have to see... Uh, at what point Byzantium comes. Or if he even comes. Hey, he built another horse. But at this point, I'm gonna just try to base race Basarabia and peace out. Because this is a no CB war where I got a lot of aggressive expansion, so I don't want to take too much land. Um, I wish I could eat all of Moldavia in one fell swoop, but the thing is, when you do the opposite, when you play as Moldavia, you can eat all of Wallachia from a claim if no one guarantees them. Um, oh crap, Hungary has uh, turned hostile all of a sudden. Hungary suddenly decided that he wants my face, so that is not, uh, that is not good. Uh, Bohemia, I'm gonna have to rely on you. Hey, he has a Von Widow's back for however long that lasts. He's going to Podobran land. Uh, that's gonna be tricky. That is going to be a, I mean, according to a lot of the guides I've said that sound, or the, the one guide I said, that sounds like something that should lead to a restart. But I'm still gonna play it out. We'll see how far we can go with that. We'll see what kind of magic we can make happen. We are gonna win the Siege of Bessarabia very soon. Hopefully it is soon enough. But, um... We have to hope. We have to hope that we are going to beat the event with this Siege. If I don't beat the Siege, and I don't have anyone guaranteeing me, and uh, I don't have anyone allied to me, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a very very difficult uh, problem we'll be stuck with. Um, food shortage in Basarabia. Okay, good feeling. Good feeling. Twenty one percent. We can have one more siege tick from um, just a siege roll, and then it'll be a matter of luck. And we've taken our very first loan. That is actually okay. Um. Let's see what's gonna... Let's see how quickly we can get the siege. Come on, 21%. 21%. I believe. I believe! Give me that siege. Give it to me. Food shortage, we're 28%. Which is as high as it's going to get. Unless we roll the wall breach. What are the odds of a wall breach? Um, the wall breach is not written there. Uh, because I think the wall breach is an independent chance. Um, yeah, hmm. obsolete forts are easier to breach as well, interesting, but we, of course we're not going to have artillery right now. Um, another food shortage, that is not a wall's breach, we're 29%, 3%, 3%, 3%, 3%, 3%, 3%, 3%, 3%, 3%, 3%, 3%, 3%, 3%, 3%, 3%, 3%, 3%, 3%, 3%, 3%
Trying to beat the odds here. One chance out of four. One chance out of four. We just need to roll 20, 28%. 29% apparently. Paradox math is inconsistent. Between 28 and 29. I always find that funny. Um, but we gotta beat those odds. They're not great odds, but they're not bad odds. Especially since we keep rolling them. We just need to get them earlier rather than later. Another supply shortage. Come on, Fort. You need to fall. You need to fall, Fort. In Hungary, also stop being hostile towards me. That also means that he broke a royal marriage. He did. He lost the stability for himself. Ah, silly, silly Hungary. Bohemia, how do you feel about splitting Hungary between the two of us? I know you have a a knack for devouring that Hungary there. Um, disease outbreak, that is the last thing we need to roll. Hey, now he's at 7% on Jirju. We might actually lose this war. Because we didn't get the roll fast enough. As soon as I get a wall breach, I'm gonna piece this guy out. I have a feeling. It's gonna have to happen. Tunis and Clemson attacking each other, that's okay. Um... Treasury is going down, but... Right now... Other concerns. Ah! <laughs> Come on, take the damn fort. If I had a siege pip, that would at least be 35% and the odds would be better. We need that siege pip. We need... Well, the siege pip would have been actually very useful. Um, both to make the rolls happen faster and to have better chances of getting past this. Poland got a Jagiellon. Hungary claimed Tirgovist. Um, come on, come on. Another disease outbreak. Oh, I dislike these base races. I was at 21% when he was at minus 42, and now I'm 28, he's at 21. That is not good. I rolled two disease outbreaks in a row, and he's just going through our fort. If he beats the siege, we're, we're essentially dead at that point. Oh, what? He's a 35... Oh yeah, he has a siege pip. He has a siege pip. That's, uh... The odds are not in my favor anymore. Of course, I rolled a supply shortage. That is just, uh... He has a chance out of three. I have a chance out of four. I rolled not a chance out of four, like, three times. And, um... I have a, str I have a bad feeling. I have a very bad feeling. It's probably gonna be a restart right away. That is uh, an unforgiving start if I've ever seen one. He got the siege. That is uh, amazing. That is uh, completely amazing. Of course, he took the siege for himself. Um, I got Bessarabia, but just too late. I'm gonna put the uh, our king there. To try to at least... Uh, well, I'll see what I can do with the king. I'm gonna go uh, at least move him off of my capital now. I'm gonna see if I actually can manage that. Ottomans declared war on Byzantium. That is fine by us. Um, it also means that Byzantium can now reach us, but I don't think Byzantium will want to attack us. We're now fighting this guy. We have more discipline. He has slightly more morale. But again, we have more discipline. We have a much better general than him, so... All in all, things are very much in our favor. And he got booted back. I am now going to try to retake Jirju. Let's put the bad general on it. Our terrible hair. May he die. Um, hmm. Treasury is not good. We're losing the war against Byzantium because we have lost that siege. Does he give me peace at all? I have five war score against him. That is not peace. That is not... Uh, I need to retake Jirju. Otherwise... Uh, Things are not good, and if I if he retakes Basarabia before I take Jirju, things are even worse. Also, time is running out. Hungary declared war on us, citing conquest. I think that's uh, I think that is game. And that was the very first attempt. All right, let's go back to the main menu, and let's try this again. That is the fun, fun, fun of hard starts in EU4. That is just how things go sometimes. And unfortunately, Hungary decided he wanted to eat us. He was okay with marrying us, 
And he was like, no, you know what? I'm gonna annex you instead. <sighs> Unfortunately, and we're unable to get friends at all at the very beginning, so we have to gamble that this does not happen. So we're gonna have to, um... We're gonna have to bet on better results the second time around. So let's do it. Single player, Valakia, play Iron Man. Just override this failure of a run. Let's do it again. Let's do it again, but right this time, hopefully. Let's see what we can have happen. Hopefully we'll have a Siege Pip as well, but uh, who knows, this starting hair is terrible. Let's roll the starting hair. No Siege Pip, but better battle stats. Still no Siege Pip. Hungary wants a, want a marriage? Hungary still wants the marriage, so that's a start. That's always a start. Um, is there anyone else who wants a marriage? There is no one, there's still no one who wants an alliance, because no one cares about us. Uh, this time, though, Serbia has rivaled us. We're going to rival Moldavia for now. We're not going to rival Serbia just yet. We are, um, I learned from my lesson, I will build my three infantry in these three provinces, because Buja will be visited by Moldavians. Um, the fort is not modballed yet, but it's going to be modballed by the time the war starts. Uh, let's put the hair on this. I'm going to try something else. Um, I'm going to try to start the war on January 1st. That might be interesting. Let's, uh... Let's see what we can have happen. I'm going to play on speed 2 for now because every single day matters and I don't want to make a mistake. Um, is Bohemia likely to ally me still? I'm gonna... Who did Hungary rival this time? He still rivaled the Ottomans, but this time he officially rivaled Poland. Uh, I'm gonna mark myself as threatened by the Ottomans. And I'm gonna mark myself ideally as friendly towards Hungary. I already am. So that's gonna be okay. Moldavia, Moldavia, Moldavia. Um... Yeah, having no friends is hard. Serbia hates me too. Bosnia and Byzantium, that's a pretty decent alliance network. Poland already has his Jagiellon. Um, Bohemia, do you want to... Uh, how likely are you to want friendship? 48 is a bit distant, but the royal marriage is manageable, so we're gonna try to befriend Bohemia. Because at least Bohemia, we can promise him territory when we partition Hungary. Did you not befriend anyone? You befriended Circassia. Interesting. We're gonna try... Uh, also, I need to do something with my estates. I forgot my estates again. I'm gonna do something with the estates. I can give... Uh, this or this to the clergy. Doesn't ultimately matter. Hmm. I'm gonna give this one to the clergy. Less development. And now I can just do all of the... Whoops, I, oh, I didn't mean to do that one. That's a waste of money. That's okay. We'll live. How much money did that even give them? Can't matter too much. Happy clergy gives happy taxes. The burgers can give me money. Okay. We are going to... I could try to roll more generals, but I don't want to do that. We are going to declare a war on January 1st, because this fort should be modballed. It is fully modballed. He has modballed it and demodballed it. Oh, he's, re -mod he's uh, reactivated it. We're gonna see. January 1st. The fort is still mod not modballed, has people in it. Circassia, I'm going to attack you now. Or you're a tributary of the Great Horde. That's your only friend. I don't like that. I am going to do it anyway. Because I have no choice. I am going to hope that uh, the Lithuania does not give access to anyone. And we're gonna run to Moldavia as fast as we can. If the Great Horde gains access to Lithuania, we are screwed. But that's just the way these things go. So we have to do it. We have to attack for Moldavia. Hungary, remain friendly. Hungary is unhappy with me, but uh, maybe we can fix that. 
Okay. Don't know where his army is right now. Late when you're pleased, do not give access to anyone. Okay, we are. We have begun the siege. It's not. Uh, it's not great odds. Once again, if he gets a siege pip and I don't, that's still a problem. He's coming. He has no siege pip this time, but he has four maneuvers, so he can run really fast. I am going to try to knock his army out. Um. He's movement locked. We're gonna fight him at nine on six. With a general that has two siege pip, he has one, uh, not siege, but uh, shock. He has one shock pip. So we're gonna try to knock him out. Reinforce, and now he gets overwhelmed. We have discipline bonus. Is it in my ideas? Do I have discipline in my ideas? I do. I have five discipline in my traditions. That's amazing. Okay. Oh, I stack wiped him. Damn. That is how you assert dominance. Now I just have to hope that the Great Horde gets stuck in uh, inability to cross Lithuania. Um, crap, Moldavia. Ah, uh, we're about to be visited by Great Horde troops and probably get murdered. I suspect great murder is coming our way. And that's probably going to be another restart. That is unfortunate that the tributary state happened. Doesn't always happen initially that quickly. But uh, yeah, now the Great Horde's about to show up here and uh, wreck our faces after such a phenomenal start of stack wiping this guy. Uh, Imereti will not accept a royal marriage, but there is always the possibility of like trying for a PU with him, but. Uh, alas. I should probably bump stability up. I my I think my only hope against the Great Horde at this point is that someone attacks him. He is allied with uh, Uzbek, however, so that's extremely unlikely. But uh, we can still hope. There's a Great Horde showing up with nine troops here to uh, wreck my face. That is just uh, not cool. Um. Thankfully, if I piece Moldavia out. Um, yeah, that's gonna be a problem. <laughs> There's like 20 troops around me. <laughs> uh, if they decide to kill me, I'm dead. Thankfully, it seems they can't siege very well. They start at minus 49%. So here's hoping that we can get a quick piece on Basarabia. Run away with, like, a piece of his country. And, uh... See what I can actually run away with. This, of course, assumes that I get the siege, which may or may not happen. Uh, France got the surrender of Maine. Okay, Bohemia is still not willing to ally or royal marriage. Hungary is still uh, royal married to us this time. He did not go full Honyadi. Oh, he refused the Honyadi. Interesting. Having refused the Hunyadi, that makes you less uh, open for attacking things right away. And uh, actually potentially more likely to befriend me. If you ever turn friendly. Not that it will matter if the Great Horde murders me, but that's another story. Uh, we are at 0% on Basarabia. If I can get a quick piece on Moldavia, um, I think that should be fine. Again, I hope someone can attack the Great Horde, but I just don't see that happening unless, like, uh, Uzbek refuses the call and his other allies are deemed irrelevant. I mean, Biapas is, what, two provinces? Akukonli is not weak, but he is over there. If the Ottomans attack Akukonli, I have a chance. Will the Ottomans attack Akukonli? I doubt it. He's allied, to, well, he's allied to a bunch of things. One of which is relevant to the Ottomans, which is Karaman. It's possible, well, Karaman, they have a truce with. Yeah, there's a truce right now, unfortunately. We are at 7%. We still do not have a walls breached. We're at 21%. But uh, I'll have to see what can happen with that. <sighs> Just gotta hope for that siege. If we get the siege, there's, there's 19 Great Horde dudes in here. The odds are so not there right now. 
I I have trouble seeing, because especially since he fights better in Flatlands, he's Horde, so he has better pips in his troops than we do. And he has 19 troops to our 10. I just don't see that ending very well. And in fact, if I take the land, I can see him being like, return it. And uh, I hope not. So we'll have to see what happens. Defense guaranteed by Poland. Um, actually, Sir Keisha might actually also want the land if I take it. It's not actually well. No, that's not true. If I look at what he wants, he wants yeah, he wants some stuff here, but he's irrelevant. That's the thing. Uh, of course, he's taking Juju very well. Now we're stuck once again looking at the 28% and getting a disease outbreak because, of course, we are. That is just the life we were dealt in this uh, Valakia run. That is just how things go. Um, let's see what can happen here. Come on. Still not. There's less than 100 people in that fort, and now he's at 0% on our fort. Um, there's a chance, though, that uh, he would not reinforce himself on the 9, and if I can beat the 9 with my 10, which is still not great odds, petition for redress, I can get peasants in Old Tennis, in Old Tenia, that's over there. Um, I'm gonna accept it. Because the only place the peasants can go after they take Oltenia, well, they could technically go to Severin, but they could go to Chuju, and then they would get killed by Great Horde, and not be my problem. That's what I'm gonna be hoping for. I'm gonna fight with rebels. We got Basarabia. Um, can I get a piece with Moldavia now? I'm gonna recall the Hungary guy. I'm gonna see if we can get a piece with Basarabia. Ottomans influenced. Uh, can run away with this. He will not accept right now because he is a fierce negotiator, which great. That is uh, not what I wanted to see. I'm hoping he can get a quick stack wipe on this. I'm gonna put the better general for battle. I'm gonna put Vlad II in charge. I have uh, killed one horse. Now we are fighting this guy through a river crossing. With a much better general, we have, like, limited morale. Um, this four stack is coming to reinforce... Oh, we're beating him. We are beating him handily. He has no leader, though, on this stack. But I don't think it's going to be handily enough before the four stack arrives. Yep, he reinforced. And now things are actually still in our favor. Go figure. Because we have a very good general. Um, and if I get the stack wipe part of it... I can get 60 military points, so I will do that. Um, I might be able to drive the Great Horde away, and if I do, that's a win in my books. Um, we've stack wiped the Great Horde. Um, I just hope the peasants go to Juju, but that's unlikely. First they're going to Severin, then I'm going to go to the capital. Well, the peasants were a failed attempt. That's okay. Oh, he got... Uh, he did not get the uh, siege. There is actually a thing I could do once I unsiege Bujo. Uh, Moldavia is still high enthusiasm somehow. I stack wiped some Great Horde. I can probably stack wipe some more of them. Okay. Oh, they're going! The peasants are going to Juju. There is hope. There is hope in this world. Don't take it. Do not take it at 35%. Ah, he took it! No! That 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 beats that that takes out a plan I had. Okay, he's gonna fight my peasants for me. This is good. And now here we are. Oh what? What the hell just happened? That was not supposed to happen. Um Moldavia's still at high. That is very annoying. I was hoping that uh, ooh, I can gain a stability for free. Literally no cost, one stability, I'll take it. Ah, I'm blocked by my own fort now. Oh, why did that push me back too? I was gonna fight the winner of the two. That doesn't make sense. I was supposed to fight him. The peasants are not my peasants. 
Um, yeah, I don't think the odds are good for this round because the Great Horde got that fort. If he hadn't gotten the fort, the peasants would have been there. I would have reinforced. I would have fought him. I would have told my my uh, fort to uh, sortie, um, which is this one. Could have sortied for the siege. We take a one. Hey, Sir Keisha showed up now. Yeah, I needed the Great Horde to not be there. This is uh, this is an unmitigated disaster. Yet yeah, it's. I'm not stopping that siege at this point. Yeah, I think this is another uh, thing that's looking like a restart. So let's uh, let's just go ahead and uh, accept the restart. And we're gonna see what we can make happen on try number three. Let's see what try number three has in store behind this door. It is unfortunate, but such is the life of difficult starts. That is uh, that comes with the territory. We just have to uh, roll with the punches and see what we can uh, have happen out of it. It's just... Uh, that's just how it is. Dracula's Revenge does not come easily. So we'll try it again. Iron Man again. I'm very grateful that the game loads quickly for us. And we're going to Dracula. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. They do say third time is the charm, but that saying does not necessarily work through with uh, rough EU4 starts. Um, Hungary still... He still accepts the royal marriage. That is the closest I get to a friend in this entire run. Um, I'm gonna send relation improvements with Bohemia for now. Um, build the three troops. Remember the... Um, who did Hungary rival this time? He did not rival the Ottomans. So that's gonna be a bit trickier. Um, who rivaled the Ottomans, actually? Austria did, so Austria maybe. If I put myself as uh, threatened by the Ottomans, Austria might be an option for friendship. Uh, we have a new queen. Also, I forgot my estates again, as I tend to do. I'm gonna give seven into the clergy. I'm gonna do all of the clergy interactions minus the... Uh, oh wait, I can actually do this and get myself 25, 50 diplo points. May as well. Minister, Inquisitor, and seek support for 150 admin points. And I can't do anything with the Cossacks. It's okay, we are building our three troops. Um, our hair is not very good again. I mean, he's never going to be very good. That is just not how he lives. Um, okay. And now we'll see what we can have happen. We're going to try to befriend Austria. Um, I'm going to at least boot up the speed too, come on. Improve relations with Austria. Because Austria might be willing to befriend us since we are threatened by the Ottomans. But uh, that is going to be difficult. But if Austria is willing to defend us, there is a chance. I'm going to recall the Bohemian guy. Because I want to be able to attack uh, whatever this guy allies. May it not be something that's guaranteed by a stronger power. He still has no friends. He never gets a friend, I cannot get an opportunity. Come on, get a friend. Surrender of Maine has happened. That's fine. Oh, I'm paused. Would help if I was not paused, that's for sure. Oh, we ha he has a friend. He's allied to Teodoro. Who is allied with Trebzon as well, but that's okay. Uh, is the fort reinforced? The fort is not reinforced. The first, he still has not reinforced the fort. His fort is not bald. I'm gonna attack Teodoro now. I am hoping he does not get access. The Ottomans should not give access anyway. There we go. Now you run after it. Immediately entered alliance with our enemy Trebzon. I'm hoping I can get to the fort fast enough. Built the force limit has been achieved. 
If I get to the fort before January 31st, I get a free siege. And that would just be the lucky brick that we need for a decent start. Um, do I make it? February 1st. I did not... Oh, I... It counted! It counted! Alright. Free siege. Ottomans influencing uh, Crimea. That is fine. There we go. That means the only thing we need to siege now is uh, Suseava, which is okay. I'm gonna get Basarabia for free. No effort. Just gonna go look ma no hands. And then we're gonna get rid of Moldavia entirely. Look ma no hands. Okay, Moldavia got wrecked. The Ottomans should not be giving access either to Trebizond or to Teodoro. Crimea will not give access to either of these two, I don't think, because Crimea wants to eat Theodoro as well. Um, Trebizond is actually interesting to have him be in this war. Okay, let's... Uh, let's fight uh, Moldavia. I challenge you to... Uh, I challenge you to Romanian battle. There we go, there we go. Kirkesha entered a military alliance with her enemy Moldavia. Well, poopy timing on you. But, such it is as the things tend to go. And now that Basarabia is mine, Suserava is actually really easy to siege, even without siege pips. Um, again, I could try to roll a general, but I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna bump up stability. Very good. I'm gonna try to befriend Hungary anyway, but I have limited hopes. He has Janos Honyadi, but this time Janos Honyadi does not want to eat my face. So that's a good start. He's gonna stay there. No, he's not. Once he has movement lock to Iasi, I'm gonna go for him. Oh, hey, Theodoro dropped troops. He's movement lock to Iasi. Let's try to... Uh... That's not enough. He has movement lock to uh, that one. Holy, there's now Trebizondians as well. They all dropped. There's a party in our in our fort. But we should be good to uh, get rid of them. Um, detach an occupation. Send you to Suserava. I should be able to beat that siege, but worst case, I'll just boot them off actually if I if I beat them if I stack wipe them I do have five discipline if I manage to beat them I'm gonna leave just a single troop take the troop that is the most wounded even and then we're gonna try to punt these guys off of Basarabia there's now eight of them but if I beat them oh if I beat them I am going to be able to... Uh, well, no, there's ten of them. Let's get in... Ah, crap! I clicked too quickly. I'm gonna build... Uh, one mercenary. And I'm gonna have to... Hustle, because I think they're still trying to drop troops on here. And that's not where I want to be. I was supposed to finish that occupation. I clicked too quickly and I deeply regret it right now. Now there's 11 of them. I'm gonna have to take uh, the king if I want to have any chances. Okay, I'm not making that mistake again. There we go. And I will not be crossing a river. Not that it matters, because I, sh I should be the defender at least. Um, okay. Do it! 10 versus 11. But I have 5 discipline and a far better general. Let's hope they don't take it on 7%. Or that I beat them to the tick, actually. I have beaten them to the tick. I am going to... I cannot sortie from my the things I do not own. This is a disgusting battle. They're rolling better. That's sick. No, that, that six and that nine were lethal. Ah, oh, that is bad. Okay, can I piece you out? I'm gonna need to recall Hungary for that. 
I should be able to piece this guy out, I hope. Um, I think Basarabia and... Uh, I think Basarabia and Birlad. Gives me a coalition, but it's not uh, really relevant. Take six ducats out of it. It's probably the best I can manage. Now we're gonna reunite our troops. I have manpower debt of almost 5,000. But now I have Basarabia and Birlad, so that's better than any of the other runs I've done so far. I don't know if it'll end as well, but... Uh, yeah, I rolled really poorly on those... Uh, on those rolls. The thing is... Forward to glory! That is amazing. That is a 10 morale that will make probably a world of difference. They have taken Basarabia. That was bound to happen. There's now only eight of them. But only eight of them is still uh, fairly generous, because there is eight of them. I need a few more uh, moments of reinforcements. The thing is, this is my culture, my religion, so that's good. If something attacked Trebizond or Teodoro right now, we're at least going to be good. Um, we're taking loans, but that's okay. Um, yeah, we have to see what we can have happen. I need to keep improving relations with Hungary. Because I need Hungary to want to be my friend. I am married to him. He gets a Habsburg if he, uh, he dies. Austria, how do you feel about anything, really? Ooh, marriage might not be impossible. Might not be off the table. We're at 8.9 versus 8.8. .8. If I wait one more month, um, I will probably have almost 10,000 troops. And they will be attritioning themselves because they have no supply line. So we're gonna we're gonna try for that. That's when we're gonna try to strike. There is eleven for me. Uh, ooh, ease the tensions. Ease the tensions is very great for trying to ally Hungary. It's not enough yet, but we take what we can get. Okay, nine point eight versus nine point zero. I have a strong feeling about that. They have the exact same number of regiments of the exact same type. I have a better general. I have five discipline. And I have the last jousting tournament providing me with a morale advantage. I have every single modifier under the sun that could help. And here I am rolling two zeros in a row. Thankful. Oh, wow. That is... They roll really well. Unfortunately for them, if they get stack wiped, that's it. That's the end for, for their attempts in this war. Because they're not coming back here. Are they going to Bessarabia or to Birlad? That I am not sure. We'll have to see. Which way things swing? Basarabia it is. Let's try for a stack wipe. If I get the stack wipe both of them, I might have a shot at uh, vassalizing Trebizond. And that is very much something I'm interested in. Oh wow, I actually decimated there. Oh wow. Okay, good. Um, take the Merc and a small dude. And send you to Birlad. For occupational purposes. And we're gonna take some more loans. That's okay. Those two make a great match. Uh, my king gained a military point. That is not at all useful since he's 56. I was hoping for the 100 military points. Oh, 006. She knows what she wants. She wants to fight. That's what she wants to do. And that's why the kings found inspiration in her ways. I like what I see. Okay, that said, now we need to retake uh, Basarabia, but this time we're not on a clock. We have beaten the clock, and now what we need to beat are Crimea and Lithuania to give us access. And uh, possibly the other guys as well. Um, yeah, once I take Birlad, that's going to be a bit better for us. Once I take Birlad, the core will continue. Uh, I can gain some ducats for free, so I will do that. Patriarch Authority is a useless statistic for us right now. Since all we're expending in is Orthodox land, so we don't even care about conversion. We're out of manpower, but 
that's going to be a constant state of existence for our nation. I can safely modball this fort. I assume the Ottomans will not let anyone pass. I assume the Ottomans will never let Trebizond pass. Or Teodoro. Well, they might actually let Teodoro pass. I don't know for sure. What do the Ottomans think? The Ottomans want Teodoro really badly. They also really want to eat me really badly, so... Austria, please, save me. You are my one hope. If I get to Royal Mary Austria, <laughs> I might be able to ally them. And being allied to Austria is being safe from the Ottomans, at least at first. But uh, Austria is allied to Hungary, so that's a problem. That's always going to be a problem, though. Albania, do you want to... Uh... Albania is angry with me. But Skander God is fantastic, so... I'll have to see what I do. Hungary is now pretty happy with us. I hope he flips to friendly at some point. Um, thing is, I don't think I have time to siege Trebizond at this point. That's the problem. Lithuania, do you give access to anyone? You don't. What about Crimea? Crimea doesn't either. Crimea will definitely never leave me, let me have access. So I kind of want to just white peace Theodoro at this point. Once I have Basarabia, I might be able to uh, try for a white peace. It'd be nice to have Theodoro, but I don't think I can get to it. Unless I can do the long way around thing through Lithuania, the Great Horde, Circassia, and Genoa. Although it still wouldn't work because there's a strait here and he's gonna block the strait. So that's not really an option. I need this siege to finish sooner rather than later. Ottomans will definitely not uh, let me pass still. That's, that's, yeah, I keep looking, but this... I mean, it's both a good thing and a bad thing. It means I can't get to Trebizond, but it also means that Trebizond can't get to me, so... I can leave this Fort Modball to try to salvage the economy a little. Because our economy is unhappy right now. With Ottomans, we're killing Byzantium. That is bound to happen. Hungary, you are my only hope. I must ally Hungary and then throw them at the Ottomans. That is the only way to do it. A pretender rises. That is fine. The Moldavians have submitted to Roman's rule. Or Roman's rule, or whatever. Screw this guy. He just stole three Moldavian provinces off of me. Unfortunately. Um, come on, Basarabia. Unseize yourself faster. I do not have all of the day. Um, I have a lot of war exhaustion right now, cause, and it's going up because I have an occupied province. And also because my manpower is uh, not doing very hot. Which is unfortunate, but it's the cost of fighting two people who decided they could land on me. Although taking Basarabia for free was the lucky break we needed. Uh, the military ideas of Elizabeth. Hey, excellent. There's the military points we were promised. Um, she really is uh, a thinker in the ways of battle. She even has discipline. <laughs> She's like, I want mur I want to murder people. She has a goal in life and she sticks to it. Uh, Theodoro, I will give you white peace. I'll give you even... Uh, yeah, I won't be able to go anywhere. I feel like I'm not balling the armies right now. Oh, corruption is uh, costing me something. Though I am overextended, so I guess it's no surprise. I'm gonna call Basarabia for uh, obvious income-related reasons. I'm gonna modball the armies, because I want to preserve our economy a little. The game will tell me this is a bad idea. I will agree with the game, but at the same time not change anything about it. Because right now... Well, I don't think they'll be able to retake that fort easily. It's gonna be a source of rebels. It's gonna have to be a source of rebels. Um, Balakian nobles are unhappy. Everything's unhappy right now. But our economy is not complaining, so that's not so bad. We do have two loans. Again, that's gonna be okay. Um, Theodoro, can I white piece you right now? 
I'm gonna recall Austria for now. I'm gonna offer Teodoro a white piece. Because I want to try to ally Hungary before it's too late. He will not accept white peace. But he might accept... Uh, oh, but there's uh, me making gains in there, which is not necessarily true. It's not changing right now. Although, is he getting killed by someone else? Is someone else attacking him? No. But, if you were Kandar or Crimea, now would be a good time to attack him. Oh, and you want Basarabia too. Yeah, I need to get out of this war now. Crimea will definitely not let me pass. Lithuania would. Uh, Circassia would, probably. Access to the Trade Horde. You're allied to Trebizond, but you're not even giving access to Trebizond. That's the thing, I could probably go around a long way. Uh, but doing that would also open me up to getting siege on Basarabia again. And when the rebels show up, I won't be ready. Thing is, I wish I could go sit on Teodoro, because I don't actually necessarily care about Trebizond all that much right now. I mean, it's a decent province, it's the right religion, but... It's not really that useful. What I need right now is peace, actually. I need peace more than anything else. Because I need to try to get allies before I'm unable to. Theodore will not accept that for uh, quite some time. Unless someone goes and kills him. If someone goes and kills him, that, that's going to be a difference. And if someone goes and kills uh, Trebizond as well. Imedeti is fighting Shamsuke, so it's possible that Akukoyuri could declare this war. And then uh, you'd be stuck in both wars, and then there's a chance I could piece them out. But for that, we need Akukoyanlu to read my mind. The AI is not very good at that. Um, we've got our economy that's suffering, but it's gonna keep suffering for a bit. It's gonna get better as I finish coring things, maybe. Because I would like to make a state out of Moldavia for obvious uh, value and right culture, right religion related purposes. And also because my economy is like non-existent, so anything that helps the economy is worth doing. Uh, I have manpower. I would have manpower if my army was fully reinforced. Um, you are, however, now a march of Poland. Interestingly enough, hate Poland. Do you hate the Ottomans? You do not hate the Ottomans. You do hate Hungary, which is actually problematic. Um, Poland is influencing Moldavia. Is he gonna plan to d to remove March from him? Possibly. I mean, I did chunk half of Moldavia. Not the good half. Well, yeah, not the good half. I didn't chunk half. I chunked more like a third. Somewhere between a third and half. Something like that. Anyway. Not much consequence. Um, Theodore will give you white peace. He is considering it. But, uh, yeah, because his military strength is not high. Hmm. Yeah. Gonna have to hope that things change for the better soon. Byzantium is getting murdered by the Ottomans, so that was gonna happen anyway. I'm running out of time to uh, do something while I have a truce with the Ottomans. Truce expires in January 1450, and that's the worst. Because I liked only Crimea, which is also pretty bad, actually. Um, come on, Theodoro, let me go. I can't go siege you, you can't come siege me. We are at an impasse. We are definitely at an impasse. Come on, Crimea, go kill Theodoro. You know you can win this. So he doesn't have a claim on Basarabia, which is good. Ah, this war is annoying. Circassia? Circassia is a tributary of the Great Horde. And maybe that always happens. That's a problem. Gain the core on uh, Birlad. The one on Basarabia is still coming. 
when it arrives, things are going to be better. Uh, yeah, we need the core. There are many things that I need, and none of which I'm getting right now. I have Warscore from, like, beating their faces so hard. I lost one battle. And if I had won that battle, I'd be at 15 Warscore right now. What is this? Serbia, Byzantium? Okay, that's, that's, that's fine. That's not gonna matter. Serbia is getting killed. Most likely. Most definitely. The 12th troops is not gonna do anything to the Ottomans. That is just not gonna happen. Um, yeah, we need... Right now we're just kind of... We're just kind of waiting right now, really. Uh, can you gain war exhaustion? I'll lose some tradition. I don't want to gain more war exhaustion right now. I can't afford to. I need less war exhaustion, not more. And I think my war exhaustion is actually going up because I'm blockaded right now. Yeah, I have a blockade to home port here. Which is causing me a great deal of exhaustion. So we're going to be stuck with that for a bit. Uh, Moldavia has been designated vassal. So in 10 years, Moldavia is going to get annexed by Poland. Poland was willing to burn one stability just for that. Um, I guess that kind of makes sense. We gain free, uh, three free provinces. It is unfortunate, though, but... We should probably improve relations with Austria in the meantime. Keep working on that... Uh, oh, that's not happening. Austria is now a lost cause. Because uh, he has too many diplomatic relations right now. It's five allies. Including... Sorry about that. Including Salzburg and uh, Augsburg, which are... F Why would you ally those? They're literally a waste of a Diplo slot. Although I say this and I pretty much am a waste of a Diplo slot too. Unless you really hate the Ottomans and want to stop them from eating me. But uh, that's not what seems to be happening. Theodoro, your medium enthusiasm, how about white peace? He still won't accept it. He still will not accept it. <sighs> Alright. Well, we wait. That is all that we can currently do. This Crimea won't let anyone pass. Lithuania could probably... I could ask military access from Ooh. Lithuania. Um... Could not ask it from the Great Horde, but I could improve relations with them for that. Could ask it from Circassia. Could probably ask it from uh, Imerete. The issue again is that if I abandon the... Uh, if I abandon the Heartlands... Theodora will probably come and, gonna come and siege it. Maybe if I improve relations with uh, Crimea, he might be... Uh, not hostile towards me. That might have been an idea, but uh, I have no friends right now, and that's the problem. This is a real problem: is that no one is willing to ally you at the start of the game. The game starts, and Valakia gets no friends. None. I would have befriended Serbia if the game would let me, but the game does not even let me do that. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have to uh, wait just a little longer, I think. Thing is, if I could get Crimea to give us access, either me or any of the guys in this war, I could uh, go sit on Theodoro at the very least, and then run away with his province. But uh, it's not what's happening right now, and I'm still bleeding money. Very, very, very slowly, but I am bleeding money. I kind of want to delete this fort. Just full-on delete it. I mean, it protects the capital, but not very well. You know what, let's just delete the fort. Save our economy, I don't need all these forts. That fort might be useful to stop Ottoman advances, but... Right now, the economy is a concern, and we need to have an economy. Ugh. <sighs> oh, now we only have a 10% war score. Oh, because I deleted the fort, most likely. Deleting the fort removed me to war score, because it's less war score that he can take. 
That's kind of confusing. But that is what happened. My fort is fully stacked and is mine now, so if I wanted to uh, sortie, I'd be able to. Moldavian Separatists are going to be 11 of them. That's going to be pretty intense. I'm about to hit deck 4, so that's nice. Um, if someone would attack Trebizond or Teodoro, damn it. You've lost your alliance with Moldavia because that can make a state out of Moldavia, so I certainly will do that. And now these provinces should have a lot less autonomy. They now have 50 autonomy. I can be the first in the world to take up the military 4. I even beat the Ottomans to it? I beat the Ottomans to it. I out deck the Ottomans! I don't think that's going to last a very long time. But I currently out deck the Ottomans. Now how long until you accept the white piece? And I see no point in improving relations with Crimea. He'll stay hostile. That's kind of a waste. I'm just going to keep an eye for white piece at this point. Because there is no way I can... Uh, Go to Teodoro. Now we're 17 out of 24. Teodoro is making gains. That's gonna go away at some point. He's not really making gains. Yeah, once that goes away, he'll be at uh, 22 out of 24. And then length of war uh, will keep ticking up until we get what we want. He is... Uh, I think we're going to get the peace very soon. I have the Moldavians that are about to spawn. I'm going to pay for my army. I'm going to put the uh, hair in there. Okay. I'm now losing money again, but not... Not too much money and not for much longer. Also, interest is a pain that we are stuck with. Are you still making gains? He is not making gains anymore. 17 out of 18. We are about to hit the white piece. And that is going to be okay. Because once we have the white piece, we can try to ally Hungary and see what kind of plays we can make with that. At this point, that is just not going anywhere. Crimea has claimed Basarabia has their own. That is not what I wanted to see. That is very, very, very bad. You're supposed to want, like, Teodoro and go eat that. Come on, Teodoro, I'll give you white peace. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to not be at war with me. You know you want it. You know you want the white peace. Imedeti also. Um, are you still a uh, hairless? No, now you have an heir. That is unfortunate. Okay, Teodoro. We have achieved white peace. We are at peace. Hungary will offer me the alliance of his own volition instantly. That is very good. Uh, you are, however, allied to Crimea. That's a problem. You're guaranteeing Ragusa and Serbia. Um... But, that is the opportunity that we needed. That is the lucky break that we needed. Uh, our relations are capped in Hungary. We'll recall, what is this? Dooming disaster? Peasants war, of course. Of course we have a peasants war building. I'm gonna have to hope that the... Actually, can I stop the Moldavians from spawning? If I kick both provinces, which is bad for the economy, and then I buy down war exhaustion... Uh, three times. I have no Moldavians. They are stable. And Altenia can just go park an army on them and stop them from being angry. Apparently Bujo is also a source of anger. That's okay. We don't care about the nobles. Okay, we have dealt with the... Uh, with these guys. I can modball the fort. I can modball the armies. Not that I want the armies mod bolt for too long. But right now I want to try to fix the economy a little. Also, this peasants war has no business being here. Um, 
Why does Voltinia have unrest and Bujo not? Uh, war exhaustion, negative stability, control by nobility. When will my nobles uh, be chill again? It's, they're going to be chill at some point in the near future. That is okay. And their control of the territory has uh, shrunk. Do I have steps anywhere? No, this is all... Oh, this is a step. I could give this to my Cossacks. Let's give it to the Cossacks. And now I can probably do something with my Cossacks. Now they're at 50 uh, influence. Which means I can um, raise a single Cossack host. What is my force limit at right now? 11 out of 11. When it goes to 12, I can raise a Cossack host. Um, could recruit a minister, but that would be... Oh, we can still go to morale of armies. Good. Conscript elite Cossacks. That is free army tradition. Supply arms buffs the size of my potential army. I kind of want to raise the Cossack host anyway, but... Uh, hmm... Not sure. I'm hesitating. Because I can't afford it right now. Well, I can't afford it. You know what? Let's just, let's just do it. Let's raise a Cossack host. Got ourselves a nice... Nice little Cossack. We now have three knights. They're not very good, but they'll have to do. Uh, Ottomans, still I to just Crimea. Hungary, did you rival the Ottomans? You did not. Do you want any land from the Ottomans? You do not. You're actually interested in me more than anything. Which means I cannot throw you at war with the Ottomans with a promise of territory. That is not what I wanted to see. Truce with Brandenburg. Why is Brandenburg involved in that truce? That doesn't make sense. That really doesn't make sense, unless like you got an alliance that broke right away or something. Which is possible. Be weird, but it's possible. Uh, Peasants War will go away once I get to about... About 7,000 manpower. That's uh, slightly annoying, but it is what it is. Um... Yeah, we're, that's gonna be that's gonna be problematic though if I cannot uh, throw Hungary at uh, Cossack aggression against. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Cossack aggression. I lose a base tax in uh, Birlad, and it's all Moldavia's fault. Uh, that is annoying. Wait, it's Birlad though. Birlad is not a good province. It's not a big loss. It's not a big loss, it's just unfortunate. Too few rivals. I can now rival Serbia. I can probably rival Crimea. That is probably safe. Um, we are going to need to attack probably the Ottomans if Hungary will join us. But if not, we have a problem. Because we do need Hungary to attack... Uh, to attack the Ottomans. That's the only way we can win this. But if Hungary comes, there is a chance. Especially since right now we are tech 4. We have a decent enough general. Um, and tech 4 is not when the Ottomans get their crazy pip units. So there is a chance that if we attacked and pulled in the... Hungary right now, we could win this. Ideally, the Ottomans would be in the middle of a war when that happens. But, uh, We'd have to see. I mean, otherwise, we can just try to expand elsewhere. See what we can, see what we can make happen. Like, I could just no CB Imereti. And just walk there. That would be an option as well. If I wanted to just expand our truce with the Ottomans has ended, the Renaissance has appeared. It changes everything. Now if I was to attack the Ottomans, I could not throw in Hungary because they do not want land. And I do not have... I should, oh crap, I should make a CP. Let's uh, prepare a CP against the Ottomans. Um... We have to kill the Ottomans, that is just how it's how it has to go. We must kill the Ottomans before it is too late. Before they are unkillable. 
Um, I should have made my claim before, so that's a mistake if I have to restart again. Noble allies with foreign powers, I can lose prestige but make my boyers happy, so I'll do that. Because that'll help with the economy too. Happy boyers are less uh, rebellious. <sighs> Peasants were still building for another 3,000 or so manpower. Hungary, come on, hate the Ottomans. Stop hating whatever the hell Poland is or whatever. Uh, the rural heretic, how dare they? Uh, I can divorce Hungary. I'll just have some uh, national unrest, it doesn't matter. I'll also... I want to bump up stability. Hmm. The Wallachian noble rebels are now calm. The Moldavian separatists are back, but not really, so we're actually okay. Uh, if Hungary had wanted Vidin, we'd have we'd have a war. But unfortunately, Hungary does not want Vidin right now, so until he starts wanting it, we cannot attack the Ottomans. Or if we get to like 10 favors, which is going to take a while, but it's going to be too long actually. Because at that point the Ottomans will be too strong. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's, that's the problem. Who does Hungary hate? What does Hungary want? He wants Venetian land, he wants Polish land. Uh, I can make my boyars unhappy, or I can just... I don't care. I don't care about professionalism, and I do care about manpower, but not badly enough to do something like that. I could raise, uh, some levies from my boyars. Let's call it diet and raise some levies. That should quiet the peasant war very soon, because 6,500 manpower is gonna be about enough. So we just need to get that number, that's gonna be fine. Um, come on, Hungary. Realize that in your heart of hearts you want Vidin. Oh hey, his Hunyadi uh, guy died. There is no PU on Hungary, so that's good. Let's uh, Let's look back on Austria and try to build relations with him again. Because if I could, allying Austria would be great. Regardless of anything else. Allying Bohemia would also be great, but... Uh, that's going to be for... Oh, too many relations. You have a vassal. You have three allies. Okay. Ottomans have accepted military alliance with Gazikumuk. That is something that happens. Ottomans are now tech 4. Hungary still isn't. His uh, current queen is not... Oh, his regency for Catalin, age 0. That is... Uh... Wow, okay. That happened. Um... Now what do we do? Oh, hey, our peasant war went away, as we suspected. So that is good, but... If Hungary does not want to come, actually the fact that it is tech 3 versus tech 4 right now, the battle between Hungary and the Ottomans would be really bad. Oh, Come on, Hungary. But Amazon's preparing to attack Dolkadir. I want to attack something. I feel restless, but... Without Hungary, there's just no way to win this war. That's the problem. That's the, that's the main, main problem. I need Hungary to light up this province. Until he lights up this province, we got a problem. He wants a bunch of other stuff, but he does not want Vidane. That's very annoying. And I don't have my claim anyway, but still. Let's work that claim magic. See what we can make happen. I'm gonna bump up the speed 3, because right now we're just waiting. And the waiting game is not the most exciting part. Ottomans declared on Albania. See, that would be now the perfect time to attack. It would be the perfect time to strike. Even if we don't have Skandergod on our side. Although, one thing we could do... 
We could always gamble. I'm gonna mark that... Uh, I really want all of this. And I'm gonna ally Albania. Oh, Albania won't accept. Come on, Albania. Accept our friendship. Otherwise, you're just gonna get killed. And you're gonna get killed anyway, but... Uh, there is a chance that if we get involved, maybe not. I'm gonna pay for the army in preparation. Yeah, is Venice involved? The Knights is involved. The Knights is irrelevant. So it's just Venice and Albania. Those are not good odds. Um... Yeah, I don't think this run is uh, going very well. Maybe I should have tried to ally Albania earlier. Just to represent another source of uh, units for the Ottomans to fight in such a war. Uh, the Ottomans are already sieging Albania. <laughs> Skander God is already dead. And I don't see Venice doing much. Yeah, unfortunately, because Hungary is uh, so unwilling to attack the Ottomans, I think that has to be a restart as well. I don't have a good feeling about this. We need to attack the Ottomans early. Otherwise, it's just... Uh, it's just a matter of time before they attack us. I mean, I could try to no CBE Mereti and just try to just finagle something out of that. But, uh, yeah, let's... <sighs> I don't like the odds, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Let's just do it. Let's use best CB. Hungary refuses the call. I do not care. I'm gonna rebuy my stability again. Lots of best CB usages. That is quite the best we can do. Lithuania! Ask for military access. Hooray! Crimea, do you give access to anyone? You do not. How about you? Maybe I can ask it from you? Ask for military access. Hooray! Okay. Now, I assume you will not give access to me or to anyone. What about you? Can I get access from the back? I assume the Ottomans will also give, not give access. Uh, Hungary gives access to the Ottomans. That's fine. Wait, why do the Ottomans have conquest on me? I don't see conquest from the Ottomans. They Oh, they're... Uh, it's not conquest, that is uh, covert actions. Oh, yeah, I'm the one who's doing that. I fabricate a claim on Silistre. Okay. That is done. We're gonna work the, the Kirkation angle. I want to have uh, access to something over here. I'm gonna need to fight Trebizond and uh, what's his name at the same time. Yeah, I don't. I don't think this is a successful run. Not at all. But, uh, well, Venice has a surprising amount of troops. But is Venice tech 3 or tech 4? Tech 3 as well. Yeah, everyone's tech 3 in there. Everyone's gonna have a really bad day very soon. Are you giving access to Trebizond? You hate Trebizond. Emiretti hates you, so you're not gonna ask access from either of them. So I need to get access from you. But right now, you are outraged. If I can get a positive opinion, there might be hope. Might be hope, but we have to improve relations with him more decisively. The alternative... Oh, hey, what? Get back here, you. Where are you going? Ah, uh, he got access from the back. Oh, I caught up to him. He made it. Unacceptable. Oh, wow, I destroy him. Wow! I don't know how that happened, but wow, I stack wiped him. Okay, that was amazing. That was just straight up amazing. Now I'm gonna go and uh, 
siege down Imereti fully. Probably get myself a vassal. Though I don't know which one will the vassal be. Um, I lose 12 ducats because who needs money? I don't need money. So we're gonna... We're gonna finagle something. It's gonna be like, if this run wins, if I succeed with this, it is going to be the weirdest Valakia run. But I don't see it succeeding. Like, right off the bat, I have little hope of this going anywhere. Oh, what? Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Give me access. Okay. Are you giving access to anyone? You are not. As long as you don't. Georgia is uh, willing to give me access. So that is good. And now I can go sit on Imereti. I'm gonna cancel access uh, from the Great Horde. That way no one can walk back to me. I'm gonna cancel access in this guy, because otherwise I forget I even did that. Um, okay, detach a siege and go kill this. We're gonna have to, uh, I don't know where Trebizond went. We're gonna carpet siege this guy. Uh, I can gain ducats, or gain some Patriarch Authority. I'll gain ducats right now, because I really need ducats. That is, uh... The complication, detach a siege. Uh, that's a level 3 fort. That's going to be a pain to siege. Maybe I should siege that first. Uh, 6, 7, 8, 9. That is, I have exactly 12 troops. Which is exactly enough to siege both forts. As long as I have manpower. So maybe we will do that. Holy how how did they how did they get here? Ottomans are you giving me access? They're not giving me access. How the hell did they manage to drop five troops over here? Or are they using boats to do it? It's not impossible that they're using boats to do it. Can I go sit on Tau? I can go sit on Tau. Uh Birlad can go to the clergy, which would make the boyars lose influence. I cannot afford to give the boyars anything. Sure we'll buff the clergy. Clergy now very buffed. Boyars very angry. Um, if that is all you got, I see two Trebizondi men. Where the hell is the rest of your army? I'm gonna cancel access through Georgia. Because at this point, I don't need this. Once the Siege of Tau is done, we'll be sieging both forts at the same time. And it's gonna be interesting. These five troops are not going to do anything. These five troops represent no threat to our nation. As long as they're stuck on Basarabia. If they can't go in, they're stuck there. That fort is going to hold them forever. It's an eternal siege prison for them. The thing too is that I see like these two sieges, but once this one is finished, I'll be able to, to send them to Trebizond, and then disease outbreaks will not ruin me. Well, not so, it's not a matter of ruining, but it's a matter of the fact that, uh, like, disease outbreaks will make me not be able to build up siege tick progress for a bit. Whereas if I had at least one more troop on there, I'd be fine. And this is true for both sieges, by the way. But now, we once again play the game of waiting for sieges. It's just a little more uh, unsettling, because we have angry Ottoman neighbors that are very angry and very Ottoman. I wish Hungary was smart. But the last Hungary is not smart. Serbia is guaranteed by the Ottomans, which means the Ottomans are not gonna eat him. Um As long as that's the case, then that's that's okay. Amazon has a claim. Imereti has a claim on here. Imereti has claims on Georgia, so if I vassalize Imereti, I can just feed him uh Georgia right after, and I doubt many people will care. I'm wary about a coalition, but I am I like to, uh, well, I'm not so worried about a coalition, really. 
Because the only ones who can coalition me are these four guys. Maybe five if you count Teodoro. But I have a truce with Teodoro for now. Well, not for long. It's about to end. That's okay. I'll have uh, maybe a coalition of Georgia, Kirkisha, and Teodoro at the worst. But that'll be okay. That'll be manageable. Melikates is a vassal, so it's, I don't even care to care about him. Shirvan has seen better days. Okay. And if that's how we're if that's the direction we're going with this run, to be perfectly honest, our only hope of winning, which I don't think is a great hope, but our only hope of winning is to long term and survive for another two hundred years until the Ottoman troops are weak, and then just destroy them with weakened Ottoman troops while we try to uh, do something useful. I could also try to ally... Oh, Muscovy loves me with a heart. Muscovy loves me with a heart. I need peace. I need peace as soon as possible. I'm going to improve relations with Muscovy to maintain this heart. And... Uh... Wait, too many relations. What do you mean too many relations? Muscovy. He would still ally me if I was at peace right now. So I need to maintain a positive relation... So that I can ally Muscovy, and then have a chance at surviving. That is all I'm banking for, a chance. And then if I get later enough and I get enough favors, I can throw Hungary and Muscovy at the Ottomans. Maybe we can make something happen. Maybe. But that's a very big maybe. We're gonna have to... Uh, we're, we're playing like... This is one of those starts where, like, there's the perfect Valakia start. We did not get that. But it's one of those things where if everything goes right from this point onwards, we have a chance. It's not by any means of the exaggeration a guarantee, but we have a chance. <laughs> We're going to be expanding in the Caucasus. We're going to be expanding in the Middle East. We're going to be taking land wherever we damn can. We're gonna see what we can make happen with that. We'll improve relations with Circassia up to the limit. Oh, you violated Muscovy, which is actually kind of unfortunate. But uh, that's that. I mean, that's not that's that's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. <sighs> Disputed successions with a bunch of random people. Austria, you still hate the Ottomans? I hope you remain strong. I have doubts, but I hope you remain strong and open up to the idea of allying me. Um, I can tell Hungary to be unhappy, or I can bring them to justice. I'll bring them to justice. I'm all for making Hungary happy. I don't want to anger Hungary. He is the one thing that's keeping me alive right now, if, if anything even counts. As keeping me alive, Hungary is that. And even then, if I was an Ottoman player and I saw that Wallachia was like just Hungary, I'd be like, hey, I can attack Wallachia to pull in Hungary and not Hungary's giant alliance network. And then I'd just be like, you know, the reason to attack Hungary. Which would not be great if the Ottomans thought that way. I also forgot I have a spare merchant that should be collecting in Constantinople. Because May as well. Uh, Truce with Theodoro has ended. That is okay. I should build a spy network on him and kill him, but we'll see. We will see indeed. Um. Yeah, right now we just need this uh, this eternal level three siege to end soon, because we have places to be. And that place is having vassalized Imereti, who is hungry for Georgia. And then just have that as a vassal. And probably just annex him as soon as we can. And still become like some kind of like Caucasus Middle East power. Just expand towards India. If the Timurids explode, and we can work our way in there as well, we can try to build a power base over here. And try to survive. 
It's not, it's again, it's it's a horrible long shot. Oh, we have peace. And by peace, I mean, hey, Trebizond, I'm gonna annex you now. And that's gonna anger four people, including Trebizond, which is not a coalition. You're gonna give me all your money. So maybe I can try to repay a loan with that. Ibideti, you're gonna be very angry with me, like very, very angry with me, but... Here's the kicker. You're gonna be my vassal. You're gonna be happy about that. You're not gonna be happy about that. I got a coalition of three people. Because he made it, he's the vassal. I'm gonna take all your money. You're gonna be my vassal now. And now you have no friends still. I have an unhappy vassal. I can name new rivals. I can rival the Ottomans, apparently. That is a power play. <laughs> I'm gonna make it very clear to the Ottomans that I hate them. That is my only hope. Uh, I am interested in allying Muscovy, because I'm also interested in throwing them against Poland if an opportunity arises. Trebizond, I could keep for myself. And in fact, it may be better. Um, but, I don't want to pay for the fort. And, um... Um... Yeah, I don't want to pay for the fort. I don't want to pay for coring it. Um... I mean, I could keep it. It's actually a center of trade, so it's interesting for that. I'll just keep it. Let's just keep it for ourselves. Okay. We've allied Muscovy, so now I feel a lot safer. I'm allied to Muscovy and Hungary. That actually means that I could throw all of my allies at Poland at some point, if Poland has weak allies. He has Brandenburg, which is technically a weak ally. Could literally throw Muscovy and Hungary and orchestrate a destruction of Poland. Actually, that's, that means that's another area I could expand in. Poland. Now that's interesting. But, first, G Georgia has to die. Using Conquest as our Casus Belli. He has so many forts, though. I have a bored diplomat. When he's bored, he's going to be improving relations with Imereti. Imereti needs to accept that uh, we are a magnanimous and wonderful overlord. We're gonna... I'm just gonna kick uh, Trebizond into obedience. It's not a good province. It's actually a pretty good province, all things considered, but I don't want to deal with it right now. I did not make it before the fort uh, loaded up, but that's okay. I feel pretty good right now about uh, being allied to Muscovy and Hungary. It's not going to keep me safe, safe long term. But if I build up strong enough, fast enough, it might. And I just have to not, I, I just have to get in a situation where they will both back me whenever the Ottomans would want to attack me. Right now the Ottomans really hate me. And that's okay. I really hate the Ottomans. So, mutual feelings. Mutual feelings of despising the Ottomans. Muscovy finally ate... Uh, Tver and Riazan, I can get military points, so I will do that. I know the alternative is mercantilism, but right now every single monarch point counts, especially since I don't have the Renaissance, and it's going to take a while for it to make it to me. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to see what we can do. Hmm. Hmm. All right, now we just, uh, we're waiting for sieges. I'm back to speed three. I'm okay with playing speed three right now. It's not, uh, oh, hey, they took a siege. They took, uh, they took some forts, but the Ottomans are still very much winning. Unfortunately. Ah, uh, this is very unfortunate. Venice is still trying to siege some Ottoman stuff. But the Ottomans have parked their army on uh, Dalmatia. Did Hungary change his tune about uh, hating the Ottomans? He did not. But now Austria might see that we have mutual rivals, and that might make him want to uh, be friends as well. It does not. That's okay. There will be opportunities. Um, how much does Imereti hate us? 73%. That can be arranged, hopefully through uh, repeated friendship. Which is also why probably a good idea for me to keep Trebizond to myself. I don't want Imereti to be too strong, especially since I plan to feed him all of Georgia right now. 
Then again, I need to. I plan to annex him as soon as I can. Let's go up to tech five in military. This gets me better, better troops. Eastern militia. We'll take that. Ho ho ho! The Ottoman uh, heartland seems to be having a bad day. That is uh, very interesting. I wish it was actually representative of how the war is going, but it is not because they do not have the Wargle. Though Venice is unseaching the Wargle. If they retake the Wargle, that is... Uh, that is something to look for. If only I could throw my allies at that right now. But that is not what I can do. Also, right now I am... Oh, I can repay a loan. Wait, I can repay loans! I have so much money! Don't know where I got all this money from. But I can repay some of my loans. Hey, burgers, how about some money? I can get the piddly amount of money. I'll do it anyway. Money is money. Use it to repay another loan. Throws it Moldavia has ended. That is very interesting. Whoa, 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 where did... Uh, when did he... When did he come here? How did he get here, even? Are you giving access? You are not giving access to anyone. Are you giving access, you bastard? You're giving access to Georgia, you sneaky bastard. Uh, Vlad the Impaler. I can get Vlad Tepes Draculesti with a strong... Or I can apologize to the Sultan. 105. Hmm... Hmm... I am very interested, but 105 is 6 points, you're worth 5 points, so he's actually worth more points than the current ruler, and I gain 50 admin points out of the deal, and I insult the Ottomans. You can't go wrong with that, but I have a very, very good hair. So all in all, that was a pretty good turn of events. Now I'm actually going to make uh, Vlad... A general at some point. That was uh, that was pretty good. We are now uh, yeah we're now sieging that, but that's gonna be a pain. Ah, uh, how did he even get past trip? Are you giving access? You are gaining access. And our what about you? You're also so literally he just like ran to the side. Avoided my army and walked all the way there. Hungary wants marriage, definitely. That is pretty ridiculous. I am going to actually. He has seven troops. I am going to leave six troops behind. Take this army and bring it back here. I'm gonna try to fight this guy. He's still tech three though, right? He is still tech three. Ottomans are no longer a valid rival because he ate Albania. Uh, was that a penalty? Not enough rivals. There is a penalty now. Uh, Vlad Tepes is going to run very fast to try to save our capital. While we continue the siege of Georgia, we have lost immediate rival against the Ottomans. Uh, Akkoyunlu is beating, is uh, sieging Teodoro or unsieging Teodoro. He's Akkoyunlu has rivaled us. Oh, that's cute. Are you allied to the Ottomans? You are not allied to the Ottomans, which means you are fair game for expansion, and it so happens that my vassal has a claim on you that expires in quite some time. Come on, Vlad Tepes, you'll be outnumbered, but you'll have a lot of horses, and uh, may it represent... Wow, this guy's a bad general, though he has a siege pip. So hopefully, hopefully our Cossacks will wreck his face, and... Uh, Hopefully, actually, we're gonna get, uh, as soon as we start, if we start losing more infantry than horses, we're gonna start having a penalty for, uh, inefficient support. That's gonna be bad, but... Hmm. Hey, someone just insulted Vlad Tepes. Are you sure you wanna do that? Hey, get back here. Actually, right, I'm tech three, I'm tech, uh... I'm tech four to his tech three. So he's getting obliterated. Although, as I suspected, he does have more troop count than me. 
He's going to 17, which is where I'm going to stack wipe him. Um, this bumped his uh, liberty desire a bit. Okay, we're going to uh, split, split. Um, okay, we're going to want to unsage everything and then go back there. Relations are kept Muscovy. We've been warned by the Ottomans, so I cannot attack Akukoyunlu. But there's some of them at the back that are still fair game. Kirkisha's still fair game. Kirkisha wasn't allied to Muscovy. Um, yeah, the fact that the Ottomans warned me is unfortunate, but the one I want to attack is the Ottomans, ultimately. So, you know, we'll see what we can make happen. Kandar was building a thing. Are you still giving me access? You're still giving Georgia access, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna unsiege Jirju. I'm gonna go back to... Uh... Oh, disease outbreak. Of course I rolled the disease outbreak while I'm looking. And I am going to go back to the Ottomans. Are you giving access to Georgia? You are not. So if I go through, I think Edison Khan is probably the place he's most likely to pass by. Uh, oh, that minus 50. I'm losing four ducats a month. That is harsh. That is very, very harsh for our poor economy. But uh, once our vassal becomes loyal, though, we'll gain, uh, we'll gain more income out of it. So that's going to be useful. And if he becomes loyal, I'll also gain his four troops to participate in my wars. Um, yeah, and when can I annex him? It is going to be... On 64. So it's seven years. I have seven years to get him to 200 opinion. Because I very much wish to annex him as soon as I can. Oh, Siege is now at 0%. Very good. Very, very good. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You are Shervan. Shervan, you are taking... You are sitting on my war target now. That is not how this is supposed to go. You're supposed to let me eat Georgia and no one cares. I mean, I did stack wipe him, but... Uh, he's gonna take the capital. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll be able to run away with three provinces and just let uh, let this guy have none. And then we'll feed the provinces to the vassal to reduce his liberty desire through the offering of provinces. And I assume that he hadn't had time to rebuild prov uh, rebuild troops. Clergy is going to be at 99.9, but that's not... Uh, as long as it's not 100%, they're not going to have funny ideas. Uh, good. Cossacks still unhappy. Don't care enough. Cannot raise Cossack hosts for a bit still. Um, diplomatic insult against Georgia. Actually, when I peace out, can I eat all of this? I could. Oh, he actually would already give me. I don't even need to finish the siege. That creates a coalition of. Again, four people, but Emirati is the vassal and Georgia is about to die, so that's not a coalition. Can I extract money? I cannot extract money. But if I finished the siege, which is at 35%, I would extract money. And that works for me. Take a loan. That's bound to happen. I'm going to make uh, Emirati hold on to this. Because that way I'm not paying for the fort. Should have done that a long time ago. I'm trying to base race this guy, and I don't know. I don't like my odds all of a sudden. So I'm just gonna. Ottomans fabricated a claim on me. Again, as long as my allies are on my side, I have a chance. Okay, I'm gonna. Now I can extract some more money. There we go. And now I'm going to look at my subject, and I'm going to grant province of cars. Actually, before I give it to him, I'm going to destroy the fort. I don't want him paying for that. I'm going to grant you cars. 
And I'm gonna grant you at Belize. Okay, very good. Now my troops aren't even home. I don't even have access to home. Home is far and distant and uh, alien to me at this point. Whoa, 10 unrest. War exhaustion, cruel control by Cossacks. Separatism. That could be a problem. Peasant war is back. Uh, I assume you are going to get eaten by Shirvan. I assume that is uh, over. Georgia has two troops. Yeah, he's not going to do anything. Uh, do I care about innovativeness right now? I do have some because I'm ahead. Let's get the Moldavia have, having more unrest because who cares right now? And I am going to build just two cogs. Because that's probably the only thing that makes sense. Can repay one of my loans. I'm going to modball my armies. I'm going to modball some fort as well. Some forts, two of them. Because right now we cannot, uh, cannot afford to think about it. And you are one prestige hit away from obedience. Which means now you're not disloyal, but I cannot royal marry you yet. Bit unfortunate. But hopefully improved relations goes up faster than placated ruler goes down. And then I can royal marry you. And the goal is to eventually just annex you as fast as I can. So we're going to work on that, in that order. We're currently making money and building our cogs. Um, just by any chance, let's tell our subject that he wants uh, this. That he should fabricate claims on it. Wait, did Muscovy just influence me? I think Muscovy just influenced me. Ottomans declare on Kandar, which is fine because that's not us. If I go in diplomacy... Um... I am currently being influenced by, by Muscovy. Very nice. Three points. I adore you, Muscovy. Thanks. Uh, I can gain legitimacy or I can gain patriarch authority. Let's start farming our patriarch authority. Now's a good time to farm the patriarch authority. We do not have any of the useful claims. We have claims on Circassia, but... Uh, we do have claim on Teodoro. Teodoro is only allied to Circassia. Let's work on that. That is an avenue of expansion if I've ever seen one. Attacking Teodoro to get that Circassia, eat Circassia, without having to, gun to go by Great Horde or Muscovy. And um, continue our ploy to eat... Uh, oh, hey, I can coin you. Hey, I can re-rival the Ottomans. Hells yeah. Alright, screw the Ottomans. I hate them. I hate them so damn much. Hungary, you still not want any Ottoman stuff? You still don't. Muscovy, how useless are you? You're tech 4, uh, he's tech 5, I'm tech 5. Ottomans have now reached their crazy pip units. So I, cannot now, I can now not fight the Ottomans without having greatly superior numbers. Until about 1650? So we're either going to try to get a large amount of allies or we're going to have to hope that um, that uh, yeah, that we just don't get killed before then. Although un unavoid like we always get in a situation like I've tried doing that again with Moldavia like and every time I've tried doing this with Moldavia what I'm currently doing it will eventually end up that the Ottomans will just like, find an opportunity to attack me where one or more of my allies will refuse the call. And I just know that that's what's gonna happen. Because that always happens. Unless I can somehow finagle my way into, like, being friends with, like, France or something. Can I make my way into being friends with France? Who hates the Ottomans, anyway? Aragon hates the Ottomans, but Aragon always ends up, uh, Becoming a... Uh, oh, there's gonna be an Iberian wedding soon, maybe? It depends how old this king lives for. Would Aragon accept an alliance? Aragon might consider an alliance. That would make me feel safer. Uh, we'll work on that maybe once we're done with uh, our claim on Teodoro. 
And uh, we'll work on that while we fight Theodoro and Circassia. That is a fine goal. And also Theodoro and Circassia will make it closer for me to uh, have access to my own stuff. Ottomans did a thing, don't care. Uh, I mean, I do care, but at the same time, they can keep doing whatever the hell they want. There's literally nothing I can do. How did this boat finish so quickly compared to this one? Is it a matter of autonomy? No, there's far less autonomy in the... Oh, but it's just because uh, Natural Harbor. No, that doesn't give any bonuses. Gives me local trade power, that's about it. There is a trading near Merchant Republics, that's Genoa right there. Which I'm very okay with. Hmm. I don't know, that's mysterious. How did this boat finish so much faster than that one? I built both of them at the same time. And this land even has more autonomy, so it should build slower. Unless it's, uh... If we force them at plus 0.5, that, that can't be it. Unless this one has a negative modifier. Hmm, that would be possible too. Corrupt army rolls, that's, there's so many modifier on this damn province. Um, Looming Disaster of Peasants is still assembling itself. We got Valachian Peasants. Uh, I don't want to see them, so I'm going to bump up stability and I'm going to buy down War Exhaustion once. Uh, Poland is influencing on Moldavia. That is fine by me. Hungary has permanent claims on Moldavia, but uh, that means Hungary has permanent claims on me. Hungary has permanent claims on all of me, so suddenly Hungary wants my stuff really badly. I am not excited about that. Not excited about that at all. I have my claim on Teodoro. So we're gonna get it. Uh, where do we go from there? If I was to attack Teodoro right now... Um, I would pull in Circassia. That is all I would pull in. If I pay for my army... Um, I'm gonna move my transports to Trebizond, because that's where my army is, too. I saw the boats fire, I'm like, <gasps> but it's, it's not my boats, so that's okay. That's that's safe for now. We have our, true, our two uh, cute little transports that are uh, ready to do their job. We're gonna wait one more month to attack Teodoro again, although this time it's not gonna be as bad. I'm gonna activate this fort. In preparation. I'm gonna activate this fort as well in preparation. Okay, are you still... Uh, you're tech 4, I'm tech 5. You're tech 5 as well, though, but... Let's just do it. Don't need to pull in uh, Circassia as a co-belligerent. Oh, he only has three troops. He's not gonna get anywhere. He's not gonna get past this fort. Um, now, Imereti is a loyal vassal. He has achieved being loyal, but his uh, they force vassalized us and aggressive expansion is pretty big. Why are the Ottomans here? Why are the Ottomans here? I don't like what I'm seeing. The Ottomans are at war with Kandar and Great Horde. Oh! Interesting. Can I attack Crimea? The Ottomans would accept the call, because of course they would. Uh, education for the poor, an excellent initiative. Uh, I can enact a government reform. We're gonna get ourselves some manpower, probably. Because I think manpower is the worst stat for us right now. Can I go and crush uh, Kabardia? Muscovy wants a marriage? Definitely. Muscovy, don't attrition yourself with your army as well. You're standing still, please. Please, Muscovy. Kataman has rivaled me. That's kind of funny. And cute. Uh, Teodoro walked. Wait, Teodoro walked? Do you give access to Teodoro now? You give access to Imereti? Oh. Now that's unexpected and very interesting. I want to bank on that while I can. But I also want to finish sieging this guy first. And then I'm going to bank on that. Dropping a fourth troop. I don't even know where Circassia's army is. 
Are you involved in some other war somehow? You are not. Where did you hide your other armies? I assume they would be there first. No, they won't be there first, but oh, that's probably why. They're probably coming around. They're gonna show up very soon, I think. I have a feeling they're gonna show up very soon. Um, that said, I'm gonna go over here. Yep, as I suspected, go all the way around the little Genoa. Grab myself the uh, Ottomans declared war on Karaman, so there goes my rival. He will not have been my rival for long. There's the troops that I expected. I Oh, there we go. The vassal has finished sieging Circassia. Can I just run away with it right now? I could fully eat him if he accepted. That would create a coalition again of three people, because Circassia would be dead. That appeals to me very much. I am probably going to have to go and... Uh, Actually, you know what? I can just leave a single troop on Theodoro itself so he can't build troops. Is anyone... Oh, Crimea is sieging him. Uh, Crimea is sieging him. No! Uh, damn it, Crimea. This is all your fault. I mean, it kind of is all his fault, but... Uh, so that means the only thing we get to eat out of this war is Circassia. Which is not, or Kirkasia, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I've heard people pronouncing it Kirkasia, so I've been doing it as well. Assuming it's correct, because I don't know how to pronounce it. But uh, if it's wrong, please let me know. That's the uh, beauty of playing uh, grand strategy games. And encountering cultures you do not know. It's these kinds of discoveries. There we go. Shouldn't be able to retreat more than like one province away. And then I'm going to stack white both of you. You know, be able to eat Kirkasia, and then Theodoro is just going to get murdered by uh, Crimea. Theodoro got stack wiped, but Kirkasia is still running. I don't know running to where. Well, probably uh, Kirkasia refused that call, yeah, and that's probably why Crimea jumped. Um, now I cannot, I still cannot, I need to stack wipe him first. He's going to Yedishkul, yeah, I'm assuming he's running to Theodoro. Because in that AI, Teodoro is a safe uh, retreat spot. It was not for Teodoro itself. Maintain a diplomat on Imereti, because I still very much want to annex him as soon as I get a chance. I'm stack wipe Kirkasia. There we go. And now I'm going to eat this guy. There we go. Give me all your money. Why did he not accept it? Oh, there we go. He accepts 97. Go figure. Okay. Now I assume Theodoro's about to die. I just realized it'd be really terrible if... Uh, if Crimea vassalized him, which he sometimes does. Which he sometimes does, because then that would pull me at war against uh, Crimea as an aggressor, which would allow him to call the Ottomans to stomp me. And that would be the end of me. Can I white piece you? I'll give you white piece. I think I'll have to try to time it with this siege tick. See if Crimea gets lucky. He did. Now he is... I have 11% war score. He's at low. I can white piece. And now I am safe in case Crimea vassalizes him. Because that would have been really bad. He did vassal... Uh, he made him a tributary. Oh, I could have taken it. Wait. That means... That's actually a good thing. That's actually a good thing. That allows me to attack Crimea without having to pass by the Ottomans. Oh, that is actually such a fantastic thing. Hey, does he commit... Oh, he's allied to the Ottomans. Oh, he's allied to the Ottomans. Of course he's allied to the Ottomans. Shirvan. He's allied to random other things. Um... Karakoyunle. I have no idea what he's doing. Yeah, I'm gonna need to eat in the Caucasus right now, but yes! The fact that Teodoro is a tributary of Crimea means that I can attack Teodoro using this claim that I have just chilling here. I forgot about Aragon entirely. Hey Aragon, let's work about French. Let's talk about friendship. Since you and I, we both hate the Ottomans, and you seem to have free Diplo's thoughts, and I am not irrelevant? Though I'm not very strong, I do represent about about 15 troops, if you count my vassal. Yeah, I'm not irrelevant. 
Oh crap, Dominus of the Clergy. I did not notice that. Let's fix that. Hey, Clergy. Apparently you have land. Apparently you shouldn't have land. I'm gonna take uh, Severin back. I assess that you don't need it. Okay, and now, to, now this will stop building. Uh, I can loot, gain admin points, or I can gain Patriarch Authority. I don't need these modifiers. They're not useful to me right now. I mean, unrest is always good, but I don't need need them. What I do need is 50 admin points. Because I need to be coring, I need to tech up, I need to catch up in everything. I am going to modball the universe. Because our economy does not actually support our country running. Go figure. And now, we're gonna have to see. Uh, Great Horde is probably a source of expansion for us. At this point. Once I hit tech 6 before him, I can definitely go and uh, fight him. I'm going to try to ally Adagon yet uh, soon to have another source of safety against um, against the Ottomans. Every single source of safety helps. How many loans am I at now? I'm at four loans. That's not where I want to be at. Merchants can't give me ducats. Cossacks can't give me money. Burn wants access. He can have it. Um, but yeah, eating some Great Horde stuff, getting ourselves Astrakhan as a vassal, might make a lot of sense. Like, replacing Imereti with Astrakhan. And then Astrakhan can also just be fed all of the Sunni stuff that I wouldn't want otherwise. That makes a lot of sense, actually. The more I think about it, yeah, I don't need... Yeah, let's do that. Especially since right now it seems Great Horde is having a bad time. Now is the optimal time to attack the Great Horde. Well, he's currently um, besieged by Kazan and uh, losing a war against. Uh, although that's not gonna that's, that's gonna shift very soon because Muscovy is like, hey, I can jump on Kazan. And now Kazan's like, ah. But who are you at war with? Just Kazan, straight up, just Kazan. So you're gonna be okay, actually, unless I have something to say about it. How strong is uh, manpower? Is not fifteen thousand. Damn, Peasant War. Stability less than one. Guess I'll fix that. Peasant War not building. Good. No Peasant War for us. Uh, a new champion of the Joust. This man must lead our armies. Or I can gain 25 legitimacy right now. I have Vlad Tepes, who is actually kind of a subpar king. He's worth only six points. The queen is also worth six points. So I don't actually lose too much. I actually don't really think he's cruel, actually, which makes sense. I mean, he's Vlad the Impaler, but it doesn't actually matter for our Monarch points, and the hair is much better than Vlad, believe it or not. So we actually kind of want Vlad to die anyway, so we'll leave Vlad as a general for as long as we can. Uh, what is this? Why are you getting killed by Katam? Oh, right, because the Ottomans are involved. If you break the alliance with the Ottomans, I'll gladly go eat this guy. I will gladly go eat myself a Gazikamik. You will accept a marriage. That makes my life even easier. It makes you super stable and loyal. 35%, which is good. I need to get you, however, to about... A hundred and... Well, I get... Uh, ideally 165, so I can do it with a gift. That's where I need to get him at. Adagon, how do you feel about an alliance? We're getting so very close. I hope I make it in time, and I hope he does not get Iberian Wedding. I actually genuinely hope the Iberian Wedding does not happen. Because I want to ally Adagon as a long-term ally. That will help keep me safe from the Ottomans. With his Naples PU and the fact he's rivaled the Ottomans. Like, we have mutual rivals here. We have reasons to want to hate this guy together. Um, and are the vassals... He's not doing any claims. I mean, he might start now. Oh, wait a minute. Akuko Yunlu is getting killed by the Ottomans. Wait a minute! No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, Adagon. 
The Ottomans may have warned me, but if they're in the middle of the war themselves, then they will not get the call. Because they're already in the war against them. Which means Akukoyunlu is fair game for expansion. So we're gonna do that. Now the Ottomans are not involved. Now I'm only at war with Anisa, which is irrelevant. And Akukoyunlu is like fully stack wiped or something. Do the Ottomans even want any Akukoyunlu they're in right now? They kinda do. Uh, we need more registered Cossacks. We certainly do. I wonder how much land the Ottomans will actually take from uh, Akukunulu, because right now... Oh, they peaced out! And they didn't take anything. They did not take anything at all. And now you have permanent claims. And they have a truce. A truce for 15 years. That is... Uh, that is what food looks like. Are you still allied with the Ottomans? You're still allied with the Ottomans, unfortunately. Do you ever get a friend that is not the Ottomans? I will talk to you. Uh, violently. Why is that good going early? Oh, right, he was there. It makes sense. Ottomans is no longer a valid rival again. Although that's about to change again. I'm gonna go back to working with Adagon because I want the Adagon angle to pan out. Adagon is now... Oh, right, because we no longer have mutual rivals. We've lost immediate elite rival against the Ottomans. Um... We're gonna play this game where we're gonna keep growing to catch up after the Ottomans, to keep them as a rival, to have his rivals as our friends, and, uh, or at least try to do that. Um, there shouldn't be many people in this fort. There aren't many. We always start. It's, since the garrison is half full, even though it's a level 3 fort, we start with a siege progress, just from a, a half full garrison. So that is good for us. That is very good for us. Kirkatian Separatist and Kirkatia. I could clearly can have fun with that. Um, he has 10 troops though. That's actually annoying. I was hoping he would be stack wiped by now, but that is not what happened. That's okay. Between us and Circassia, that there that should be... Uh, not Circassia, but Imeriti. It should be fine. The Kirkatian Separatists are going to do whatever they want. That is fine for us. I can get a claim on the Great Horde. I will certainly do so right now. I've gained my conquest against the Great Horde. Uh, Akakonyunlu is now sieging of a poor vassal. I'm hoping I beat them in the siege of Diyarbakir, as opposed to the siege of that, and then I can go and boot them off of it. Not a guarantee, though. Oh, he rolled a disease outbreak. How unfortunate. You know what? I'm gonna leave a single troop behind. I'm gonna go punt him. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. I want to do it. I really want to do it. But I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna do it. I am, however, gonna punt this Anisa. Can I actually go to Edison Khan? Yes, I can. So when he shows up... Uh, why is he not going to Edison Khan? Maybe because he knows... I tested my range, and he was like, I'm gonna dodge that now. That's gonna be annoying. It's 15 troops versus 15 troops. I do have tech 5 to their tech 4. Uh, Kirkishan Separatists have taken Kabardia. I'll have to go deal with that, but that's later me's problem. I'm amazed they spawned so fast. Um, that is very unfortunate that they did. But... Uh, it shouldn't be too bad. We'll still be able. We'll still be able to deal with them. Muscovy is killing Crimea. A most interesting term of events. Um, I'm very okay with that. Oh, it's because uh, Crimea is allied to Kazan. Well, he's allied to the Ottomans, so that's the only thing that's keeping him safe. I am hoping the Ottomans don't get to make him a free march. That would be the worst. Oh, hey, he's sitting on my. Of course, he's sitting there. Of course the Ottomans give access for that. <sighs> Alright, well we won't... Uh, we won't take too much off of Akukoyunli. I would like to full annex him, but... If I at least take everything that borders him and the Ottomans, then fighting Akukoyunli will no longer pull in... Um, the warning from the Ottomans anymore. And that's pretty much all I care about. 
So I just need to get the Siege of Diyarbakir. I have the War Goal already. I have Erzurum. So I just need to win this base race with both of them. I need to finish this siege faster. I dislike base races, but such is life sometimes. Okay. Come on. Come on, guys. You can take the fort. Take the damn fort. 21%, I believe. We did not take it, but 28% is a progress. It's not a disease outbreak, so we'll take it. Um, if I take Diyarbakir, I'll have probably about 60 war score, because I'll have the war goal, I'll have his capital and his one fort. And the only fort that will be unaccounted for will be like Aniza's capital, which is kind of irrelevant. Because I don't want to make this into a long protracted war. Hey, there we go, disease outbreak. I knew we had the potential. I knew we were able to get a disease outbreak. It was just a matter of time. I can tech up, be the first in the world to tech six. Mad respect for my armies. I can get better horses. Very good. What, they're already 30, holy crap. How are these guys sieging that so fast? Why? Why is my fort already at 35%? I feel like I should have kept the seed, the, the fort of Giorgio at this point. But I'm not gonna lie, I did not expect the Ottomans to give access that easily to people. Of course you won that siege. Alright, we're gonna be a long protracted war. Oh hey, we have the Arberkir. Okay, I'm gonna go and uh, unsiege my capital now. And I don't say like free up the siege, I mean unsiege because I knew this was gonna happen. All right. Ottomans declared on us. Hungary and Muscovy refused the call. That is just what we, what I was saying would happen. So, time to restart. Again. That always happens. Uh, let's go back to the main menu. For try number four of Wallachia. Let's do it. Uh, unfortunate. So very unfortunate. If I had allied Aragon in time, maybe I would have been fine. I feel like I was blinded by the uh, Akukoyunli opportunity. I mean, I was, but it was a good opportunity. But the alliance with Aragon was very important. It's a bit of everything. It's a bit of, uh, it's a bit of all of that. So let's uh, try this again. Once again. Uh, whoa. What is this? I had a I had a Discord overlay that I do not care for. So we're gonna be Wallachia again. Iron Man. And we are Dracula. So we are going to uh, attempt this again. Hopefully this time the stars will align, but they don't always, unfortunately. They unfortunately do not always. So Hungary, do you accept a royal marriage? He does. Right off the bat. Perfect. And build my troops. Build them in the right locations. I am going to um, extract the military points from the boyars. I'm going to grant my upper charters, which allows me to get diplo points and ducats. I am going to give a province to the clergy. Which is going to be Severin. And I'm going to get all of the other ticks to get myself 150 admin points. Which are going to be very useful for the no CB. Move up to, to speed 2 for now. Appoint the hare as a general. He has a siege pip, which is great. Um, that'll just be helpful. Hungary accepted the royal marriage. Uh, can I mark myself as threatened by the Ottomans? I, in fact, can. Hungary, do you hate the Ottomans? You hate the Ottomans. How likely are you to accept friendship? It's gonna take a while. Unfortunately, it's gonna take some work. Who else has rivaled the Ottomans? Adagon and Mamluks. Okay. All right, you have that mod, that fort mod bald. Keep it that way. He still has it mod bald. 
He has... Oh, he's directly allied to Poland. I'm gonna move my army to Bujo now. With uh, Vlad to run faster. Wow, he's directly allied to Poland. Okay, we are going to do this. And now we're gonna declare our war. He has not reactivated his fort. Declare war. This calls Moldavia in. We are in the war against Moldavia. He has reactivated this fort. Will I make it in time? January 4th. I will not make it in time, so we need the siege pip. That is unfortunate. But now this war. This is actually a war. This will allow me to vassalize Imereti, actually. Uh, do what I was doing earlier, but faster. So that is uh, actually a good thing. I have completed my built force limit mission. I am going to improve relations with Hungary. I wish to entertain a good friendship with him. And uh, I'm going to preemptively improve relations with Aragon as well. Because if I get to the situation where I can rival the Ottomans, then I will be... Uh, in a good position to rival them, uh, to, uh, to ally those rivals. Of course, we rolled a disease outbreak, so I'm not even going to bother. I'm going to leave, uh, whoops, take everything. I'm going to just leave a single troop behind. And I'm going to bring all of our troops over here, and we're going to try to stack wipe this guy using our king. May long his reign be. Okay. Poland needs a Jagillion. Poland makes the smart move. Take Vlad the third. Let's go uh, wreck these guys. It is land that I very much want. I assume Imereti will not have access to us. He might with boats, but hopefully he won't. Uh, he won't drop anything. That is a stack wipe. That is astounding. Let's run back here. I want to say as fast as possible, but I need to make sure I have a siege pip, so... We're gonna... I'm gonna wait till the movement locked and we'll switch to the siege pip guy. Because we need to... There we go. Now we need to get this... Uh... This nice juicy little fort cracked right open. We want to eat ourselves some sweet, sweet uh, Basarabia for breakfast. And we also want Hungary to switch to friendly. All of the, all of these are things that we need and care about. Um, yeah, that's actually one of those funny things where, like, eating this part is easier when you're Moldavia than when you're Valakia, because Moldavia versus Valakia is always a one versus one, because Valakia never gets friends. But it's the problem that Valakia has the option that if you do manage to ally Hungary and they do hate the Ottomans and they do want Vidin, you can throw the you can throw Hungary at the Ottomans um, pretty much as soon as the truce comes up, and that is a war that is actually winnable. So we need like kind of like Moldavia has an easier very initial start. But Hungary offers the strongest, like, I mean, Valakia offers the strongest possible start, as far as I know, for uh, Dracula's Revenge. That is what we are going to uh, try to achieve for once. Maybe the fourth time is actually the charm. Because now we have an angry Hungary. He does not seem he, like he wants to eat us. As long as he does not get a really voracious king, it's going to be okay. If, uh, if his, Han if his uh, Hunyadi or his Interregnum or whatever flips into something with uh, a hostile diplomacy, we're going to have problems. But if he doesn't, this might be the winning shot where we throw the Ottomans, where we throw Hungary at the Ottomans while uh, they're fighting, say, uh, Skandergod. That might be an option. Or, or we can try to ally Skandergod as well, start our own war, and um, 
name our own terms. I'm gonna use Skander God to kill the Ottomans. Um, maybe we need to look into that, actually. Moldavia has not rebuilt troops, or rather he probably has, but they're hidden in these two provinces of Fog of War. Which I cannot reach because of the damn fort. Which is why this damn fort is so important. Interestingly, it's also good for giving the Cossacks. So we're gonna do that, very much so. We can probably play on speed 3. I, uh, I liked my experiment of playing on speed 2 with uh, Orissa, um, which was the previous run. But right now... Um, I also have a little bit of like, I prefer, I'm more comfortable playing speed 3 in terms of waiting for things and making things happen. So we're gonna have that be a thing. Speed 3 I mean. I should have my merchant collecting here. Because why the hell not. Gets me like 0.06 extra ducats. Hey ducats or ducats, we'll take him. Um, how much war score is he worth? He's worth 65, so even if I wanted to, I couldn't fully eat him. And that's a problem. That is a very, very unfortunate problem. Is Byzantium gonna get Ottoman? Most likely. Very much most likely. Um... Economy is down, but thankfully it's not done by a lot. Surprisingly, my economy is doing pretty okay. I'm not sure why. I mean, it's probably because I don't have two forts yet. Although even then, oh, there was also that. Uh, oh, oh, whatever. I'll lose some army tradition and some non-existent navy tradition. But yeah, it's probably also that I don't have America. I used to have America in the in my past attempt to try to preserve that non-existent manpower from the peasant war. Which also reminds me, I should probably bump stability before I eat land right now. I want to bump stability to one. That'll feel a bit safer. Oh hey, he's back! We've won the siege of Basarabia. I am going to just uh, carpet siege him now. And then I'm gonna go stack wipe him. Detach a siege, detach a siege, detach a siege. You go here, you go here. And uh, you go on his capital. I'm gonna see what that can net me as a peace deal. Uh, Ottomans started influencing Aku Uh Moldavia wants peace. Is he at low enthusiasm? No, he's at, he's at medium. He's gonna flip to low when I'm done taking everything he has. Uh, disease outbreak on his capital. Great. Amazing way to start. Does he have a siege pip? He does not have a siege pip. Very good. Uh, I can gain a stability for free. Yes. Very much so. I like those freebies. Uh, Moldavia wants peace. Unfortunately, the only peace I want from him, I'm gonna recall the Hungary guy because it's gonna be faster. And I'm gonna peace out this guy for why will he not give me that? Uh, that is 89, that is... That angers far too many people, so ultimately... I could probably take these. That is probably a safe take. But I'll have to take his capital for that. So we're gonna hope we take his capital in time. Although that may be a high risk. Oh, walls breached. Very good. Very good! Walls breach is a phenomenal progress. That is exactly what we needed. Just need probably a few more a few more rolls and we'll get that now. Defenders desert, we're now at 14%. Thing is we can get another six sticks of progress. So this fort this siege can go oh wow, he's actually attritioned himself, and now he can't even siege our province. So whatever happens, he's gonna give us what we want. Supply shortage. Ottomans declared on Byzantium. Provided a romance inv invasion does not screw up with us. Oh, hello, uh, Imereti. Welcome to the party. Where you were not invited, though you are the main target. Um, which means I am going to have to peace out uh, Moldavia very soon. Is Basarabia? Basarabia is not even fully reinforced as a siege. 
We can get three more ticks, which can get up to like 60 something percent. The odds are very much in our favor to get this. Um, more defenders desert. We're now at 49. Oh yeah, we, yeah, this is like, we can get to 57 if you get another tick. And then if we kill half the defenders, we'll get to like 64, but by then we should have it. I mean, 49 is a chance out of two, right? Approximately. There we go, it is ours. Moldavia can be pieced out. You are gonna give me, I'll take these two provinces, give me all your money. And uh, that is done. I have gained even more power this time. Because I need all the land I can get, and you have a 4-2 general. You'll win the fire phases, which are irrelevant right now. But I'm about, I'm about to shock you into oblivion. Hello, Imereti. And knowing that you can walk to me means that I can walk to you. Oh, I stack wiped him. Mm. I cannot. I cannot! Alright, I will make it so. I am going to Imereti, I am going to vassalize myself and Imereti, and he is going to like it. And uh, you dislike me too much. Seek support from Hungary, congratulations. Wait, that's actually really bad. So now Hungary will want the cores of his vassal back. Let's keep improving relations with uh, Hungary. Let's recall Adagon. And you give access to Skirkesha, but not to Imereti. And you have rivaled Imereti. Which means you will give me access. So I just need the Great Horde to uh, be okay with uh, giving me access. We're gonna work on that. Wait, Crimea gives access. Wait, 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 Crimea gives access. Never mind. Scratch that. Cancel Great Horde. Crimea gives access. I can make Kirkisha give me access. And that'll be that for this, uh... No! No, Crimea, why? Why would you do that? Why would you revoke access? <sighs> Just as I noticed. Damn it, it'll have to be Great Horde again. Alright, fine. Um... Demand that these Cossacks be brought to justice. Birlat loses a development. Oh man. That just... I'm not even uncoring it and it's already weaker. <sighs> Damn you, Moldavia. Alright. Well, that happened. Such is life. I still need to ally Hungary before it's too late. But for that, I also need... Uh... I need my uh, Imereti. I'm gonna need access through Great Horde. Or through Crimea, whichever. Uh, at least now I have access in Lithuania, but it's gonna be one at a time. Why are you not giving me access, Great Horde? Oh, he needs probably two more... Uh, two more months of friendship. And then he'll be like, yeah, okay, sure. Oh, whoa, whoa, crap. Ah, oh, people are killing Imereti before I get to him. Because I stack wiped him and he has no he has no other friends. Boyars lose influence, that's okay. Man. Are people sieging his capital too? How many people are attacking him? Uh Circasia and Gor in Georgia and Samske. So I guess what I'm trying to see here is that I shouldn't be in this war anymore because it's a silly thing. Um that is pretty much how I interpret this. You're a tributary of Crimea and you're allied to Trebizond. I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to attack you. Because I should be able to tech up to four... Um, before Crimea. And then Crimea is allied to the Ottomans. Oh, he's not. But he still has a lot of friends. Whereas Trebizond and Teodoro is not much of friends. Uh, I'm gonna core this now. Very good. And uh, I'm gonna white piece this uh, other guy. Uh, recall Hungary, maybe? That's oh, really upsetting. I would have liked to. Uh... I would have liked to vassalize Iberity. Well, I say this, but maybe they'll leave some scraps behind. You're occupied by, like, so many people. That's just not happening. There's gonna be nothing left. 
There is gonna be nothing left. I'm gonna recall Hungary. I'm gonna piece them out. It's upsetting, but... Can I extract some money off of you? I don't need war reparations, but I can probably extract some straight-up ducats. You'll give me some ducats. Hey, I'll take what I can get. Considering my economy is not strong. Okay, Hungary. Alliance. 48 out of the 66. Can I be friendly towards you? I'm gonna be friendly towards you now. And I'm gonna want to be friends with you, Hungary. I want us to achieve friendship. And uh, think of all of the Polands and the... Uh, Hey, Muscovy. Hey, five prestige. Hells yes. Okay, can I rival the Ottomans now? I can I rival Serbia? Which, who cares about Serbia, you might ask? The answer is nobody. I could no CB into Serbia. Get myself a Serbian vassal. That'd be another opportunity for expansion. Uh, Albania is angry. That's the problem, though, is aggressive expansion. We can humiliate rival against Serbia. Hey, Kandar. I could attack Kandar. Not that I'd have access through him. So that's not really much of a point. I still think Teodoro might be a good target. If I can get a situation where Trebizond doesn't accept the call, that's even better. But fighting Crimea without pulling in the Ottomans, definitely relevant to my interests. And my force limit is 10 out of 10. It will go up when I state all of this. I definitely will state Moldavia, even though I lost the development. Um, I'm gonna modball everything for now, though. Uh, kick up the root of corruption full power, bump the army down, and modball this fort. Moldavia was building a spy network. Moldavia, very, very angry with me, but that's one less member in my coalition. So that is good. Hungary, please accept alliance. Please. Please become friendly. Notice that I am threatened by the Ottomans, that you hate the Ottomans, and that I could create a war where you attack the Ottomans. And you would quote unquote get land, wink wink. And Thierry. Let's maintain our diplomat there. I need to see a heart. I need to see that heart. But there's a lot of aggressive expansion right now because I did run away with too much Moldavia. But it was so good I couldn't hold back. Um, that's the sound of course finishing, but that's not the right one. I need uh, Basarabia to finish. Um, who is this Basarab kid? Why is he not a Draculesti? Ah. Uh, well, Venice is uh, doing his thing. Venice, Corfu, Naxos, what are you at war with? I think you're at war with just, no, you're at war with Serbia and Bosnia. You're attacking both. Probably the Ottomans are involved too. Well, yeah, because the Ottomans are eating Constantinople. That is fine. Come on, Hungary, accept friendship. I'm also probably gonna take up to four before the Ottomans, which is always interesting when that happens. Hmm. I'm making money. I'm actually making pretty good money right now. This is a uh, this is interesting. I like this. I'm gonna keep this fort active because I expect rebels to spawn, and the fort will at least delay them enough for my army to replenish itself and fight them off. Ottomans were building a spy network in us. Come on, Hungary, you must accept the friendship. You are my only hope. You are literally my only hope. Uh, Poland, you might be another hope. I love Poland with a heart, but Poland does not love me with a heart. Although, Polish opinion, there might be a thing there. You did not rival the Ottomans, but you might be an option. We're going to look into that. Now that the year has ticked, we're going to look into that. While uh, Hungary continues to be uh, doing his own thing. QQ is doing his own thing. There might be a thing with Poland. If I get him to a positive opinion, I apparently love him with a heart, which makes sense. If I can get Poland as an ally, 
I mean, it's not the best. It's not Hungary. But an ally that keeps me safe is an ally that keeps me safe, no matter what form he has. Um, let's get our claim on Teodoro. Hopefully, very soon. Hungary is still no hard. Come on, Hungary. Accept my friendship. We are royal married. It should become a friendship. I will marry anyone else. Relic at the diplomatic macro builder. There is no one I can royal marry. I could. Oh, I can almost royal marry Poland, actually. Very interesting. So, Poland is an option. I'm gonna make claim on uh, Teodoro now. Recall you. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's a pretty good one. Hmm. Crimea continues to not be allied to the Ottomans, which I like. Um, but he's still allied to Karazan, Karaman, and Ramazan, which is not what I like to see. Can make a state out of Moldavia, which is what I was waiting for. So I'm gonna start by coring Basarabia itself. And then I'm gonna see if I can core the other two. Oh yeah, I can't I can't core Birlad as well. Birlad is like a worse state now that it got Cossacked. It seems it always gets Cossacked. What is my force limit at now? 11. I could build another troop. And I know just the troop to build. I give this to the Cossacks. I don't even know what giving land to the Cossacks does to the province itself. I should look into that actually. Let's learn something new about EU4 today. Um, when it's given to the Cossacks, manpower and force limit do not care for autonomy. So giving this to the Cossacks on attrition for enemies plus one, which is okay, I guess. Um, but yeah, giving this to the Cossacks means that that two development is worth its full might in uh, manpower and force limit. Ah, yeah. Okay, money is good. Poland is not good. Improve relations with Hungary still. What about Aragon? Aragon has too many diplomatic relations, unfortunately. Oh, Aragon has allied Albania, though. That is, uh, that is very interesting. I'm gonna recall Hungary. Our trusted Ottoman has ended. Terrifying, I still have no friends. I have no one protecting me. I have no one guaranteeing me. Poland, save me, please. <laughs> Anyone, this changes everything. Ah. Uh. Namid Hungary, you are the worst. You are the worst ally. I mean, you're not even... Oh, I'll take up the four. That might be a deterrent. Uh, I don't want to lose admin points. And I do want my boyars to be happy. So here we go. Here we go. Magnificent. What do we have here? Rebel Uprising, Moldavian Separatist at 90%. Can I... I could probably just kick the provinces. I don't want to waste resources fighting these rebels. It's gonna hurt the economy, but... It's a small price to pay. Force limit's still 11. We have a nice little Cossack in our army. Uh, Hungary opinion is capped still. Come on, Hungary. Save me, or at least guarantee me, or something. I kind of want to ally Albania, too, just in case. Um... There is still no one who wants to ally me. No one at all. Oh, hey, there is one. Byzantium. He's still alive? What? Okay. There's a one province Byzantium that would be really nice to vassalize if I get an opportunity to. But I'm not gonna look at that until I found an actual ally. Because if I was... Oh, Hungary minus three for alliance. <sighs> Come on, Hungary. Come on, Hungary. Can I get Diplo Rep? Can I get the Diplo Rep guy? <sighs> There's no Diplo Rep guy. <laughs> There's no Diplo Rep guy. I'll still get this advisor, but uh, I suspect it'll say, Ottomans declare war, and I'll just die. I'm just waiting for that to happen. 
Because that is bound to happen. Yeah, immunity is dead. I mean, I had a feeling that was going to happen, but... Uh, come on, Hungary. Ottomans influence relation. Come on, Hungary. Accept friendship so I can throw you at something. Poland? 16 of the 20 for the marriage. And once I get the marriage, I believe I'll be able to get the alliance, which will block off the alliance with Hungary forever. But, I mean, at this point, Hungary is kind of the worst. So, alliance with Poland is not bad, I think. Uh, forward to glory. I'll take the morale. That might be handy at some point. I can name rivals. I can name Crimea as a rival. That might just be useful. Who has rivaled Crimea anyway? Uh, Circassia, Genoa, and Great Horde. We've been guaranteed by Hungary! Oh! Oh! There is hope! There is hope! Not big hope, but hope! Maybe next year we'll uh, get a tick. Oh, hey, I love him because I'm guaranteed. Yeah, that, that makes... No, wait, he loves me because he's guaranteeing me. That's... Oh, it goes both ways. Interesting. It's like a mini alliance. I very much want to turn that mini alliance into an actual alliance. Um, we'll have to see what we can finagle. Poland would now accept the royal marriage. I'm going to go get the royal marriage anyway. Anything to keep me safe. Alright. And uh, maybe next month we'll get enough opinion back from aggressive expansion to allow the alliance to tick. 56 out of 56. <sighs> We're almost there. One more year, but that's so slow. <laughs> that is so very slow. Ugh, I'm... Ottomans took stuff out of Serbia. Uh, come on, Hungary. Ally me so that they feel at least a little safe. It's not going to be a big safe, but hey, I'll take a little safe right now. And then I can always chuck you at the Ottomans. Uh, I could ally Poland. Which is deeply interesting. But... Uh, Right now I'm seeing the alliance with Hungary, and it's a bit more useful. I can throw the alliance with Hungary under the bus and then ally Poland. Poland is now killing the Teutons. Not even waiting for the event. Just like, I'm attacking the Teutons now. Ain't nothing nobody can do about it. And he's probably right, but he's also probably going to weaken himself doing that. Come on, Hungary. Uh, if I had had the uh, Diplo Rep guy... Things would have been different. I forgot to keep looking at that Diplo Rep guy. He changes so many things, especially for these hard starts. Ottomans is influencing Nishan on Ramazan, which means he's trying to Diplo vassalize it. Dulkadir ate Karaman. Surprised the Ottomans are not murdering what's left of it. Your capital is now level 3 fort. Ottomans declare on Kandar. Now would actually be a very good time to attack the Ottomans, because the Ottomans are going to be on the other side of the strait. That means I can go run to Constantinople and try to impale Mehmet. And that's something I very much want to do. But, uh... It'll all depend on Hungary. Actually, who is Kandar allied to, anyway? Only Dulkadir, yeah, that's... Well, that, that's still a lot of things to siege for the Ottomans. On the other side of the strait. If I was ready, it would have been a good time to pull the trigger, but... Hungary is the worst. He is not, uh, come on, 56 out of 56 Hungary? Really? Maybe if I built another troop, but I can't build another troop right now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I don't have a strong feeling about this. I do not have a strong feeling about this at all. Um... Just need In a few more months. We're gonna get another tick of aggressive expansion to decay. That might be the difference that changes everything. Who is Trebizond allied to? He's allied to. Only Theodoro still. 
Uh, oh, he's deck four. He's deck four. They all hit deck four. I've missed some really good opportunities for easy expansion just because of Hungary. Hungary, you are the worst right now. You are supposed to be there for me, and you are not. Are the Ottomans sieging something? Uh, an Amazon's preparing to attack Dolkadir. The Ottomans are sieging a big fort. Hungary, are you enough for alliance right now? Yes, you are. Okay, good. We're doing it. Make or break. I have the Order of the Dragon. Now I want to impale the Sultan, so I want to go control their capital. I am going to have the hare with his siege pip. And I'm going to attack the Ottomans. Pull in Hungary with a promise of territory. And the war goal is going to be Silistre, or Vidin actually. Pull in Hungary with a promise of territory. I intend to give him nothing. Because he is the worst. And now, um, attach to me. By all means, in every possible way, attach to me, please. Um, I'm gonna take Vidin, because it's the Wargul. And I am going to go sit on Constantine. That is what we are doing. Stream seems to be jumping a little. That's okay. Alright. We have Vidin. It is ours. We're going to go take Constantine now and impale the Sultan. It is going to be amazing. Or it's going to be a disaster, whichever comes first. The Ottomans are already at 14% of that level 3 siege, that's horrible. Uh, detach a single occupation and then go sit on Constantine already. We got a Sultan to impale. And I actually hope that Hungary comes to me. And, um, uh, reinforces my attempt. Don't siege your own things. I asked you to, uh, assist me. Why are you not stacking with me, guys? Come on. Come stack with me. Can I... I'm gonna have to heavily merc up. That's just gonna have to happen. So we're gonna do that. Loans be damned. Killing the Ottomans is, uh... The most important thing in the entire campaign. And we're gonna damn well try to kill the Ottomans. Oh, come on, guys. How have they... They've already taken Sinop. That is, uh, not good. We're trying to throw bodies at this problem. Ah, uh, nope, nope. That is, uh... Not a good odd, that is not what we wanted. It took too long to ally Hungary, and that was the cost of this. We could not capitalize on this opportunity, and uh, to me, that is what a restart looks like. There is no way we can win this back at this point. Because we're about to have to face even more things, and the Ottomans has a lot of friends, so... Start this again. Maybe this time Hungary will accept a quicker alliance. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. That is, uh... Oh. <sighs> Damn it, Hungary. Damn it, Hungary. You had to be the worst. Then again, maybe it would have worked if I had only taken two provinces off of Moldavia instead of three. And gotten less aggressive expansion this way. That would probably have allowed me to ally Hungary faster. So maybe that is what we need to do. Let's try this again. We're going for Dracula. We are going for Dracula. Has to happen. Have to get it eventually. It's the nature of the hard start. And I hate the Ottomans, but I'm all for killing them early. So... Okay, Hungary... Before I do anything else, let's have a marriage. Okay, he accepts the marriage, as is tradition. I'm gonna get my three more, my three dudes. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What is this? Not horses? Are you kidding me, game? Can't afford three horses. I don't even want three horses. Bump speed up to three. 
And uh, let's prepare for uh, the next step of our journey. Hungary accepted the royal marriage. Did Hungary rival the Ottomans? He has rivaled the Ottomans. Who else has rivaled the Ottomans? Austria. Let us go with Austria then for friendship. It's unlikely. But a friendship with Austria would go a long way. Poland, you do not hate the Ottomans. Poland does not hate the Ottomans. Okay, I am going to begin mobilizing this army. Uh, can I put the, the hair as a general? Oh, two siege pips! Yes! Let's send the hair this way in preparation for our war with Moldavia. He has allied Novgorod. Did Lithuania rival them? Lit he has rivaled to Lithuania. You know what? We're doing it. Declare war. There's gonna be a no CB. And it's gonna happen. Okay, we're doing this. The goal is to go sit on Basarabia very quickly. Make it on January 3rd. Can I make it faster with Vlad the 3rd? January 1st. I think that's gonna be good enough. If I can just take Basarabia. It has zero people in it. Perfection. Um, very good, even. That is going to be a free fort. Um, excellent, excellent. We have taken Basarabia already. I'm gonna bring these troops over. I have my mission for build the force limit. I'm gonna improve relations with Hungary while we wait. By why we wait, I mean I'm gonna. Yeah, I have Vlad the uh, Vlad the Third here. Let's go stack wipe this, and then prepare to go siege his capital really quickly with two siege pips. Apparently, losing the morale battle, he probably has a morale advisor. He also has five discipline. Still got stack wipe though. Two siege pips. Come over here. I'm gonna take just uh, probably just take uh, Tigina this time, so I border Poland. Uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be a better target. Uh, detach at one, two, three, four. Okay. Um, split you in half. You go here. Split you in half. You go here. This stops all of the spawning. Oh, whoa! Oh, crap. What? Ah, uh, suddenly Odoya from the fog. And that is just going to be a disaster. That's just... Where did you come from? Why did you have to have access? I'm guessing Lithuania gives access to... Uh, oh, he gives access to Moldavia. That's... That is, uh, that is a disaster. That is an unmitigated disaster. That is the worst... Also because he literally came out of Braklava, so I could not... There was... I just... I have no words. This is ridiculous. This is really stupid. And now Novgorod's 13 troops are here. I kind of hope Muscovy jumps on him. Usually Muscovy jumps on him. Does he Muscovy not have the claims yet? Muscovy does not have the claims yet. Um... Walls breached. I am going to win the base race, but... Uh, yeah, things are not great. There's <laughs> 219 troops. And there's still going to be most of that in the war when I'm... Uh, when I'm done here. So that is not good. Thankfully, these two siege pips are working very hard. Mifsea Basarab doing uh, quite a bit of work. Okay. I will actually gladly surrender to Novgorod for money at this point. Because I don't even care about him. So if I take up fast enough, I think I forgot to take points from my nobles and stuff. Let's get points from our nobles. Let's... Uh, can't even do things with the merchants. I uh, can't even do things with the clergy, but I can give something to the clergy. I'll give them that. Let's tick all these boxes. Get 150 admin points. 
we can use to buy up stability. We can back that up to back up to one. One's a good number. Having lost two troops was very much of a disaster. I kind of want to rebuild them. Rebuild them here. That was uh, that was just bad. Okay, now I can probably peace out Moldavia. So let's work on piecing out Moldavia. This time I only want two provinces. I will not take three. Because the goal is to ally Hungary. I will take all his money though. And war reparation while I'm at it. May as well. He doesn't need all this money. And now Novgorod, let's talk about the part where... Uh, what do you want for peace? You want me to give the cores back. Of course you do. Of course you do, but... Why do you have to ally this guy? Maybe if I broke the alliance, he wouldn't he wouldn't have cared. Um, yeah, it's really unfortunate that Novgorod is here. Uh, there's still 18 troops. Poland refused the uh, the Commonwealth. Hungary is now hostile towards me, so I have a very bad feeling. Because now he desires, I can respect both of those schools, which is, uh, wow, yes, let's combine the best aspects of both schools. Although, if I'm going to lose Hungary, I'm about to uh, have a really bad day anyway. 18 versus 10, terrible odds. At least I can throw, like, another 600 in there. Make or break, let's count on the very good general that we have. Sortie! And that is not enough. Because I rolled a zero. I'm rolling zeros. Nope. And now Basarabia is lost. Yep, that is, uh, that is how the game ends. Hungary being hostile broke the marriage. Nope. Alright, let's try again. Let's try again! Uh, man, these difficult starts... Not great. Oh, not a fan of the difficult start achievements very much. It's like... It's just restart and loop until the stars align correctly. But uh, it does feel good when you succeed. But man, does the process to get there suck! All right, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Valakia, Iron Man, doing it. Dracula, start Iron Man. We're overriding it. Let's do it again. Hopefully Moldavia allies something sensible this time. <sighs> All right. Um... Why does that Discord... I need to do something about Discord overlay. I think that means it's always been capturing it and I didn't notice until Twitch was more on time than YouTube was. But uh, that Discord overlay is annoying. I'll get rid of it for next time, guys. Sorry about that. Um, gain ducats. Gain points. Give a province to the clergy. I'm gonna give them Severin because it's worthless, actually. Yeah, this one has better production, which the clergy does nothing to. They only, yeah, they only ignore for tax, but they also make the province more stable, so... We'll take it, and then... We'll give them all of the things. Get ourselves 152 admin points. We got the points. Hungary, do you want a marriage? Hungary will accept a marriage. I'm going to be threatened by the Ottomans, because I can be. Mm. I'm going to turn the hare into a general. He has one siege pip and three maneuver, which is perfect for our needs. Which means the king only comes into play if we want the battle. Uh, how long does it take you to get to Bujo? Yeah, it takes about 14 days. Good. 
I want to verify that because this guy's gonna mudball his fort. Now, who else has rivaled the Ottomans? Austria again. So we'll just once again try for Austria, as unlikely as it is. Okay. Now, in theory, I can do this. This guy won't reactivate his fort in time, because I'll get there on December 6th. Which means I'll already be next to him when the war starts. His fort is still modbald. He has allied Novgorod again. <sighs> I don't think that's doable. But I gotta try anyway. It's the only way to attack Moldavia. Could maybe wait to see if he allies something else, but... Uh... It's not a guarantee, and, uh... Yeah, it's not good. It's not good at all. Yeah. <sighs> thing is, if I can get a quick enough piece, maybe I can, uh... Yeah, I won't even try to, uh... I won't even try to fight, uh fight this stack. Oh, wow, he's attritioning himself now. That was very nice, actually. If he can remain alone and useless on there, that is, uh, I'm gonna keep working on Hungary as a friend. I need Hungary to accept friendship, damn it. That's my only way to do it. I'm gonna split you in half, send you here. Split you in half, send you here. We're gonna carpet siege him. Hopefully this time I don't get caught off guard by Odoyev. Oh, hey, I can get uh, Vlad Draculesti. And now I need to remarry uh, Hungary. But he will accept, so. That is good. Ah! Odoyev comes again. Let's not lose troops this time. Okay. Now we're gonna go to Bessarabia. Why does Lithuania give access to... He, who does he, he gives access to Moldavia. He didn't before, and now he does again, and... Uh, he's trying to build troops. Now I'm base racing for his capital. If I peaced out and did not take Bessarabia, it would black flag this guy. But I want, I really need Basarabia, that's the problem. Maybe if Novgorod didn't come, but I'm sure Novgorod will come. Uh, seek support from Hungary, that instantly ended the war. That is uh, a restart. We're stuck at war with Novgorod and that, ha that event happened too fast. That is how this works. That's the nature of the Valakia start. Very, very, very hard. And mostly out of my control. That's the thing. Reman's invasion is out of my control. Um, Hungary's attitude is out of my control. And my options are extremely limited. Like, I literally don't have anything else I can do. I'm trying, but... Uh, it's difficult. It's very, very difficult. Difficult and also, also very random. So let's go back again. Let's see what we can do. Actually, that's the other thing too. I lost, I lost my hair. He died in that siege. No, I lost my king. He died in that siege. Uh, Hungary did not rival the Ottomans this time. I don't think that's going to be a good alliance then. But I'm going to have to try anyway. Um, you've only been rivaled by garbage countries. That is not good. Might have to ally Albania at this point. Serbia has rivaled me, Moldavia has rivaled me. I'll rival both of them back. Screw both of them. Okay, let's try this again. Build the hair. The hair is now terrible. So I'll just have the king rule. The king lead troops. Um, build our three little infantries. Go up to speed 3. He will modball the fort of Basarabia. 
Uh, I'm gonna try with. Uh, can I try with Venice this time? How likely is Venice to accept? I'm not sure. But I'm gonna mark myself as threatened by the Ottomans. And check again. Venice. How likely are you to accept an alliance? He has too many relations from the get go, so that's just very unlikely. Austria might be an option. The Mamluks will definitely not. The Mamluks will definitely not. Austria is uh, extremely unlikely. But the marriage is not, so if I'm lucky, if I'm extremely lucky... Let's get these troops over here. Now they arrive on December 4th. He does not react in time. Pretty crazy that he can ally Novgorod, though. Still has no friends. He needs to get a friend soon. He's not getting a friend soon. He has no friends. And now the fort has people in it. And he still has no friends. Same as me, we match. I have built the force limit. Oh, that is terrible. That is straight up terrible. I'm gonna recall Austria. And keep trying to improve with Hungary. Damn, he got no friends. Oh, he got a friend! Imerity! My good friend Imerity. I'm gonna declare on you. Using the bestest CB. We're gonna go at. Uh, gonna have a go at it. Though we have no siege pips, so that's gonna be very tricky. And again, if Reman's invasion happens too fast, we're out of luck. Our troops will all have made it to Bessarabia safely. But now I have to play the game where I um, try to stack wipe him. I'm gonna try to stack wipe him. Take a single troop with you. We're not gonna catch him. So we have to properly stack wipe him. Hmm. Unfortunately. Such is life. We're being pierced in Chirju. His army is dead. Oh, deader than dead. Very good. Cavalry flanking ability, which is also actually very useful for the fact that we outnumber everything we're fighting. Which means our horses are more relevant. And that's a good thing. We have two little horses and they're very cute. And being very helpful. Let's improve relations with Austria. Then we're gonna have to gain access through Lithuania, through the Great Horde, or Crimea, or something, and then through Circassia, and then through all the way to Imereti, who is allied with only Moldavia. Um, yeah, that's gonna be, uh, of course, we rolled status quo, that's gonna be a difficult siege now. Ah, may Reman's invasion not happen quickly. Poland gets his Jagillion. This time he does. Supply shortage. That's gonna be a while. Okay, let's get the siege going. Let's make sure that Lithuania does not give access, because as soon as he gives access, we got a problem. We don't have a problem. I don't even know where. You have access through Moldavia, and that's it. If I ever see it, actually, I could just keep it this way. If I ever see anything else show up in that list, um, it's going to be dangerous. Um, but for now, for now, things are good. Just wait for the siege and uh, witness. Oh, there we. No, that's con okay. There's. He has gained conquest against Circassia and Georgia. I assume they'll attack him. I have to assume they will. Samtske, Georgia... Uh, Georgia has reconquest on this guy, even. 
Sansuke has regular conquest. I kind of hope Georgia attacks Sansuke first. And that Circassia just doesn't bother. But if I stack wipe immediately, they're probably going to jump. I should look into gaining access through the Great Horde right now. So I am not surprised when he doesn't accept. And instead he just accepts. Right now he would not accept, but we're gonna we're gonna work him into acceptance. Lithuania right now would not accept either. Because he doesn't like me enough. Maybe there's something can be done about that. Well, oh, Hungary has flipped the hostile. Broke the marriage and everything. Hungary is officially a the worst. Does he have a truce with me? He doesn't even have a truce with me. As soon as he gets the claims, he can just be like, yeah, I'm attacking you now. And I can very much see that happen. So we're gonna... We're gonna be stuck with that. Come on, Siege in Basarabia. Happen faster. This is taking too long. I much prefer the cases where there's no one in that fort. Those are the ideal starts. Starts where I don't need to actually siege Basarabia. Because now I just like... Any month now we can just have... Yep, yeah, Raman's invasion. Yep, here you go. He's in March now. And we lose our war. We lose our way to the sea. And to the Caucasus. And to actual expansion. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna... I'm, I'm think I'm, I'm not thinking things are going very good. We're getting in some ducats. So I'm thinking Hungary being hostile towards us and having broken the marriage like this is. Uh, he went down to minus one stability for us. Split you in half. Send both of the armies forward. I'm gonna want to piece him out before he gets my fort. Gonna have occupied and besieged provinces at full power. If I can get just get uh, Tigin and Basarabia, I'm good. The time for peace is approaching. It's approaching very rapidly. I have some occupations that are ticking. As soon as EIC ticks, I get a peace. There we go. Let's send our peace. I'm sitting on your capital, but I don't have it. I can't even take Birlad. I'll take just Basarabia. At this point, whatever I can take, I will take it. Because any more than that, then the Roman's invasion is going to trigger, and he's going to take my fort, and it's just going to... It's not worth it. We'll take the fort, and now this guy is dropping on uh, Basarabia. Which means he's going to get stack wiped. Which means... Uh, I'm just gonna put the general on this. I can put Vlad. Let's put Vlad on this. Vlad the third. There we go. He's gonna drop on me. Get stack wiped. Probably get jumped by everyone over there. Um, I'm gonna recall the Great Horde now. Lithuania, please give me access. Ugh, it's gonna take a while. Hmm. And now that he got stack wiped, he's gonna get jumped. He's bound to get jumped. Although right now Moldavia will back him. Ottomans declared on Byzantium, that is okay. I'm gonna keep improving relations with Hungary. As hostile as he gets towards me. Because Hungary, if he stops being hostile, maybe. I doubt it at this point. I think Hungary will be the one who kills me. But uh We have to hope. We have to hope! <sighs> this is hard. I mean, it's hard, but the difficulty, again, is so far out of my control. Like, my options are so limited that if they don't line up correctly, I just have to restart. This is, uh... This is not a hard where I have hard decisions to make. It's a hard where I have so limited decisions that the path only exists when... There we go, there's Submit to Roman's Rule. Um, 
Zero out of zero. One more month and we can get our accesses. No one else attacked him. Which is good. I'll be able to get access around... Uh, through the Great Horde, through Lithuania, and through... Um, what? Why will you not access? Accept. Why not, Lithuania? You're at plus four opinion. You have a positive opinion of me. Accept to let me pass. Oh, he's letting pass... Uh, oh, he's letting pass Moldavia and... Uh, Russia? He's letting pass all of Russia. That's fine. Well, now he accepts. Okay. April 14th, I will gain access through Lithuania. Okay. Great Horde will also provide me access. Moldavia has been designated vassal. Moldavia is going to get eaten. Is that Serbia? Yeah, that's Serbia. That's not... I thought I was like, is Poland helping Byzantium? No, it's not. It is not, in fact, what is happening. It will also provide me with military access that I may run. And then I'm going to cancel military access in Lithuania. I'm going to want to build some boats. I'm going to build a... I'm going to build two cogs. Oh, I can't build them in Bessarabia because it's not cored yet. Okay, please, by all means, run faster troops. Um, Lithuania, cancel military access. There we go. And now you will give me military access next, Circassia. Circassia. Uh, here you go. And now, did I get my points from my estates? I forgot to take my points from my estates. That is bad. Bad me. I'll give this to the clergy. Get all of these. Get my points. I can now bump up stability back to the positives. Which prevents the peasants war. Uh, I can pay some ducats and make the boyars be... Uh, ooh, oh, they lose 15 influence, yes. I'm okay with the boyars losing influence. That is, that is an okay thing. It makes them far less dangerous. That means I could call it die and get some manpower out of them, but I will not do that. Okay, detach a siege. Is anyone sieging your capital? No one else. Uh, no one else. Oh yeah, he's lost his alliance with Moldavia. Okay, the time to strike is now. Before Georgia gets involved. Detach. Uh, whoops. Yeah, detach. And attach again. Go to the capital. Send you here. Okay. Imereti will become our vassal. For however useful that turns out to be. I don't know yet. I have great hopes that it will be useful. But uh, let's cancel access through the Great Horde. And cancel access through uh, Kirkisha as well. Gotta keep my poor Diplo slots. Hungary is still hostile towards me. Oh wow, he's managed to drop four troops in uh, in that fort there. Don't know how useful that is for him, but uh, that means he still has four troops. So he's not fully useless. Uh, I don't want to attrition myself needlessly though. Let's not leave our troops... Uh, Everywhere. Wait, was it a question of sailors? Like, well, right now I can't build anything there anyway, but still. It might have been a question of sailors. Okay. Spare no expenses, use caution. Here's 50 admin points. Why not? Um, very good, very good. Ottomans are winning. Of course, Ottomans are winning, but still. Ottomans cannot be allowed to win too much. Hungary, come on. Stop being a jerk. Please stop being a jerk. Oh, he's capped. Wow. Because now he desires all of this stuff. Does he have a claim? He has a claim on my capital. He sparked 21 troops. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. Hungary is just gonna kill me. 
Hungary is gonna murder me. Yeah, the Wallachia run lives and dies. Yep, there we go. It lives and dies by Hungary's good graces. Let's go back to the menu. And I think that might be... Uh, I don't know how many more tries I can do. Because I'm going to end the stream in about 35 minutes. Feels like I accomplished nothing of note. Which is really disappointing. And that's again the problem with these risky starts, right? Is that that, that just happens. But... Uh, I mean, I don't have that achievement, and I do want all of the achievements. I do like to achievement hunt on EU4, so I have to find a way to succeed at this start. And I think the best one I had, it happened once, where Hungary would have accepted the alliance if I had less of aggressive expansion. And that pretty much confirms that I should not take too much, um, too much land at once. Um, from Moldavia. Like one, maybe two provinces stops. Definitely not three. Uh, why am I down here? Okay. Let's try again. Get our dudes. Hungary accepts the marriage. He always does, it seems, on day one. He's the only one who does. Get our military points. Um... The merchants can be made to give me Diplo points, though they are irrelevant. Get this, the clergy. So the clergy can then be made to give me these three modifiers. And provide me with 150 admin points. Turn the hare into a general. The hare runs very fast, but has no siege. And now we unpause. And we hope... Who did Hungary rival? I didn't even check. He did not rival the Ottomans, so we're probably gonna die again. Um, Austria has rivaled the Ottomans. Yeah, Austria or Aragon. I think Aragon is the better bet of the two. Um, yeah, Aragon is the better bet of the two. So we're gonna bet on Aragon. And you, you need to ally someone. I sent this army over here. Let me hope that you ally someone that is not Novgorod, and that is maybe not Circassia, but... Uh... I don't know if the alliance will show up if I'm not doing this. I would help if I was not paused, though. Um, December 12th, the war could be declared. Come on, get a friend. You got a friend? Circassia! Who is... Oh, he's elected Byzantium as well. That's actually kind of annoying, but... I say this, but not necessarily. You get there on January 4th. That's unfortunate, though. That is just unfortunate enough. But there's 140 people in here. Okay. Let's uh, see what we can do. Drop a single troop behind. Go prepare to attack him. Oh, hey. He's uh, staying there. We've been guaranteed by Hungary. Why are we losing this battle? Oh, because we have a terrible general. And he apparently does not. Oh, that sucked. That is not good. We're not supposed to lose this battle. We're supposed to win this battle handily. Like, I outnumbered him by so much. Uh, I do have built the force limit. Let's put the actual king in there. Actually, no, the hair also has three shock. We should have won this. By all accounts, we should have won this. Ottomans has influenced Crimea. I'm going to improve relations with Hungary. Um, that is not good. I'm going to go back to this thing and heal myself. Oh, he has to heal himself too, so... I'm gonna go heal myself on Basarabia. I assume the Ottomans will jump Byzantium. That'll take care of that. I assume I don't need to care about Byzantium. Uh, he's building more troops. Why does he have discipline, though? He doesn't have discipline in his ideas. He has 10 morale of armies, so that explains why he has that. His king is calm and tolerant, so he doesn't. He gets his discipline from the uh, from an advisor. He got himself a military bonus advisor. And I do not have any of those. I do have this guy, though. 
which is like my bestest of friends. Maybe he'll help add a Hungary not want to eat my face. Um, I'm very hopeful that that's what happens. Poland refuses the noble. I'm going to go try to kill this guy again. 7.3 versus 7.9. I have 9 troops. He has he has 9 troops as well. But I will take... Oh crap, I can't take the king. That's okay though. Slightly outnumbered. He has slightly more morale. I have a better general though. That's the difference. I, but I'm rolling zeros on shock phases, so you know. Ah, uh, This is horrible. Why do I keep losing this? I have such a better general than him. He has no shock. I should be winning this hands down, but I keep rolling zeros at key shock phases. Come on, let's go back to this. Let's go back to this stupid siege. Ugh. And that's actually at some point I suspect to see Byzantium or uh, what's his name showing up as well. Ah, oh, crap. He's gonna stack wipe me. That's that's the worst. I'm supposed. Ah. Uh, I'm supposed to win this. I'm so, ah, he he gets stack wiped in every other run, but this time, this time he's beating me. Ugh. All right, that that's that's an immediate restart. That is uh, that is not supposed to happen this way. If we're gonna be restarting, we're gonna make use of restarts for like. Horrible military starts like that. We were December 1445. I had no progress on Basarabia, and uh, yeah, that was not uh, that was not nice. That was not nice at all. He's supposed to get stack wiped when I run into him with superior numbers and a better general. That is what is supposed to happen. That is not what happened. That is very much not what happened. Let's try this again. Once more into the breach. Once more into the Valachian breach. At some point we're bound to get it, right? You would think. You would think at some point we'll get it. Uh, damn it, Discord overlay, go away, no one likes you. I'm already streaming. I'm streaming to people that are better than just my friends. I'm streaming to everyone. Who wishes to admire my failures as a... Oh, there we go, there's a siege ship at least. But we're gonna keep the king on for faster movements. We're gonna bump speed up to three. We're gonna give this to the clergy so we can give everything to everyone. Uh, give me the points. Give me the points and the ducats. Give me all of the things. Every single one of the things. It is all mine. I am going to name Moldavia and Serbia as my rivals. Because I don't care if they ally each other. Okay, that takes care of everything. His forward gets uh, modballed. Why is it not modballed yet? Or is it because I rivaled him? It could be because I rivaled him. Maybe if I don't rival him... We've been guaranteed by Hungary. I completely forgot to Royal Mary Hungary, by the way. But uh, I'm okay with this turn of events. Um, I think... Uh, I think he will modball this fort if I don't rival him. So that's an interesting discovery right there. Um, he has a friend now. He's eyed to Imereti. That is my favorite starts when he picks Imereti as a friend. Imereti is an easy friend to deal with. I can bump stability back up. Okay. Now his fort was never modballed, so I don't need to run for it. But I do want to kill his army when it shows up. And at the same time, I do want to make sure that I get the Siege General. I can get the morale of armies from building the force limit. Let's send Vlad the... Vlad the second in here. 
actually I say this, but the one I want to send actually is Mircea and his Sage Pip. There we go. Although right now it's a full fort, so it's going to be a pain. It is going to be a pain. He's going to Jirchu, so I'm going to leave a dude behind. I'm going to try to stack wipe him for real this time. Can I get a military advisor guy? There is no useful ones. I should be improving relations with Hungary while I fight this. Take the good king. And uh, let's fight this guy. I have more shock. I have more discipline. I have a better general. I have more troops. This, this is what's supposed to happen when I run into you. Not whatever travesty was happening before. Let's go back to sieging Basarabia. It's gonna be a while. But now that he's stack wiped, we have time. Supply shortage, very good start. Yeah, it's essentially a race against the clock to siege Basarabia before Remen's invasion triggers. We don't want Rayman's invasion early, because otherwise it screws us over. I can probably bump up stability one more time. Boom, we are stable. No rebels anywhere. Now this guy needs to spend money to rebuild his army, and if his economy is anything like mine, which having played Moldavia it is, he gets in a really bad pickle um, when this happens. Hungary, we are so far from the alliance because you did not rival the Ottomans. I should be working on Adagon. So let's go work on Adagon instead. Oh, Adagon's allied to Albania. Very interesting. Does Adagon desire any Ottoman land? No, he does not. A shame. I would have promised him some. And uh, I don't know if I would have given him any, but I would have promised him some at the very least. There's a lot of uh, potential PUs. I could throw a random marriage at Byzantium. He would not accept right now. I can lose four ducats. I'll lose four ducats. Sage of Moldavia is progressing nicely. Still guaranteed by Poland, still allied to Imereti. Um. Come on, Siege. Supply shortage now at minus 21. May it not take long. It's a coastal fort, which is a problem. But we have 5 out of the 12 required or potential siege progress. And if we kill another 900 people, we'll have another siege. Oh, wow. We got 3 out of a, in a single swoop. That was very good. Water shortage. Amazing. The one thing that will make defenders abandon the fort really quickly... Water shortage. Water shortage. There we go, there's another one of them. They're very short on water. People are dying for it. Um, we're in 1446 though, I don't like the speed this is taking. It is taking just a little too long. Um, there we go. 28%. We are now capped. We have maximized our chances to take Basarabia. This needs to hurry, however. Because we don't have... Uh, there's more defenders deserting. I don't have too much time. One chance out of four. It happened once that we were 28%. We didn't get it. Let's count it just to see. It happened twice. That uh, we're 28% and we didn't get it. Ottomans claimed Buzo. Surrender of Maine. War is being taught by France to the English. Whatever that means. Losing 21 ducats. It happened three times. Three little times. That we were 28% and we did not get it. That is a chance out of four. You would think a chance out of four would give us... You know, you'd think that after four tries you'd have a good chance, right? This is try number four. And disease outbreak instead. Nice 28% you got there. 
All right, try number five. Is number five a the lucky one? We will find out. Try number five is not. It is a water shortage. That just kills more people. Oh crap, he got the walls breached. Of course he got- he gets the wall breached. He's gonna beat me at the siege, isn't he? Again. Um... Try number six. Try number six at 28%, and it did not happen. Ottomans declared on Byzantium. It's fine. Don't care about that. Come on, get the damn siege. He did not get it. I did not get it. I am going to leave a single dude behind. I'm not going to leave it the chance. Chance has already betrayed me too many times. Uh, oh yeah, spy network. That would have been smart. Crap. I never thought of it. Spy network would increase my siege ability. I am not going to leave anything to chance. I am going to fight you. And apparently you're rolling better than me, though I outnumber you. Okay, there we go. That is what I suspected. That is what is supposed to happen. I'll go back to Basarabia now. My fort still has a good garrison. Um, let's appoint the siege guy again. Okay. But now Roman's invasion is approaching very quickly. Like, we're in 1446 now. The siege still has not fallen. Water shortage again. Try number seven. Try number seven at twenty-eight percent. Zero. Is try number eight the charm? Romance invasion. They can crush the pretender themselves. Oh. 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 So I missed Romance invasion, but Moldavia picked poorly. Oh. No, that's interesting. That is extremely interesting. Now I really want to eat Moldavia as much as I can. Uh, Ottomans is at war with Byzantium, Athens, and Serbia. That's fine. Because that means you're not going to get eaten by anyone else. You're still guaranteed by Poland, though. But, uh... Also, I think we're at, like... Try number two at 35%. No, try number one at 35%. Try number two at 35%. Try number two at 35%. That is insane. That is not how probabilities are supposed to work. That is just not how statistics and probability are supposed to work. Where did he get his army? Split you in half. Actually, no, I can't split you in half. It's dangerous because I don't know where his army is. Does Poland give access? Poland does not give access. Does Lithuania give access? Lithuania gives access to Odoyed and Novgorod, but not us. Hungary? You give access to Serbia, but not... Where is Moldavia's army? Unless it got stack wiped by the Pretender, that is also possible. It's very possible it got stack wiped by the Pretender. Now, I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna take these provinces. And since he is sieged by the Pretender, I'm gonna recall, um, trying for the clergy? Yeah, sure. I'm gonna recall the Hungary guy for a peace deal. And we're gonna eat ourselves delicious. Oh, he won't accept. That angers a lot of people. That angers a lot of people, but man, would I like to do that. Maybe I'll just take... Uh... I wish I could take these. Maybe I'll just take these two for now and come back for the rest some other time. I'll find someone else he's friends with. There we go. Eat half of him for now. The safe half. Lithuania abhors me. He will definitely not give me military access as a result. I'm gonna core these two things. And now I wish to run to Imereti somehow. Crimea is not hostile towards me. You don't have access through anyone. I'm gonna recall Aragon. 
Well, no matter what I do, first thing I need to do um, is convince uh, Lithuania to be friends with me. And by friends with me, I mean just let me pass. Did Poland get Jagiljond? Poland has not chosen yet. Poland has not chosen yet. Um, branch of selected units. Okay, our army is back. Let's prepare to get access through the Great Horde and Lithuania. Because that is what is holding us back right now. I'm going to modball this fort. Because I don't think anyone will gain access to it. I doubt the Ottomans will give access to Imereti. They give access to Bosnia. No, Bosnia gives access to the Ottomans. Ottomans has conditional access here. You have no access. You have no way to get to me. Of course, you can use your transports. Those are not transports. Those are galleys. You could have used some transports to drop troops on me, but... Uh, hunting accident. Oh, well. 505 is uh, much better here. Petrascu Draculesti. He'll do fine. As an heir, at least. Uh, let's ease ourselves some tensions. That makes Hungary very happy with us. If I wasn't at war right now, he would accept an alliance. But that alliance would not be very useful. Because Hungary still... Um, has not rivaled the Ottomans. He's rivaled the Pope. Um... Moldavia has the Gothic and Luzo. Does he want Vidane, though? He does not. He wants my stuff, though. He's guaranteed me, but he wants my stuff. That just doesn't make sense. Lithuania is fighting Muscovy. Why are you fighting Muscovy? Muscovite reconquest of Velsk. Velsk is... Novgorod. Oh! You're allied to Novgorod. Ah! Interesting. So you may eventually find yourself exploding and um, becoming a source of Valachian expansion. I like that. That would be very nice of you. Uh, now I border Poland though, which I suppose a good thing, a bad thing. East tensions is probably a good thing. Uh, Great Horde would now probably leave me excess. Yeah, we just need Lithuania to accept. It's all in the opinion. Dispute of succession in a bunch of people. Veriazon. Can Veriazon be married? No. Can, uh, can Tver be married? No, Tver cannot be married either. Who else was it on the list? Uh, Imeretiu, who I'm at war with. Kirkish is 23. That's pretty much it. In my neck of the woods, at least. Poland has a 21 year old dude. Uh, Chutkiewicz. What? That's not a 666 and that's not a Jagillion. What? What? Did that, did the event just not trigger? Did the event for, uh, Polish succession not trigger? Is that a thing that can even happen? This Poland looks mighty weak right now to me. He looks very much like he has the shape of something that can, ex that can be expanded into. If I manage to ally Hungary, Poland might be the source of expansion that I need, though he is not the Ottoman. Um, come on, Lithuania, let me pass. I have places to be. Actually, I'm worried about those Chernihiv separatists right now. Which, thankfully, are sieging a fort, so they might just not care. Oh, but they're still... <sighs> Crimea is hostile towards me, gives access to Imereti. So I just need access through Lithuania. I don't even need the Great Horde. Oh, Kirkisha is fighting Crimea. Interesting. Oh, but you're allied to... Wait. How did this happen? How did this happen? Lithuania will not yet give me access. One more month will do it, I think. And I can probably go through Crimea, through Kirkesha, to get all the way to Imereti, get my vassal. 
There we go, we have our, our access. Oh, Crammy, I thought you were giving access. Oh no, Imereti gives him access. We have to be very mindful of the rebels. I'm gonna get access in the Great Horde preemptively. Great Horde allows access. Now I have to make sure I don't land on these rebels. I want no part of these rebels. I'm gonna preemptively go to Vrylas because I feel like that was expanded before. I don't want to stop. If I stop, the AI rebels might be like, there's a dude that I must kill on my thingy. Okay, and by thingy I'm at province. There we go. We have juked the rebels. Rebel juking is successful. Once we get past Lithuania, we're gonna cancel that access. Um, Trade League of Novgorod has disbanded. Goodbye, Odoyev. Okay, we've cancelled access in Lithuania. Let's go to our destiny. Let's put our general king. Uh, our king as a general. It's okay if he dies. He is slightly below average. I don't want to declare on Kirkasia. I want to. What? Why do you not give me military access? What is this? What nonsense is this? Let's recall Lithuania for now. Why would you not give me access? Ah, come on, I want to attack Imereti, who's right below you. Hmm. Granada, that's fine. I'm still bleeding money. Oh hey, he dropped uh, he dropped four stack a four stack on my capital with his boats. Not my capital, but my uh, my newly minted fort. Is it done coring? It is done coring at the very least. So that's good. Uh, come on, give me access. You will still not. Ugh, one more month. And then I'm gonna go siege Imereti, and it's gonna be legendary. I'm gonna get myself a vassal who will be hungry for his neighbors. And uh, we'll see where we go from there. Probably a Hungarian alliance. I am hopeful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna gain access in uh, Circassia. Now I gain access to Imereti, and I'm gonna go improve relations with Hungary, with the newly liberated diplomat, in preparation for an attempted alliance with Hungary. Am I still married to him? I'm still married to him, which is good. I'm gonna detach a siege. Is there anyone else at war with you? No, he's just passing by. Okay, good. Keep just passing by. I'm gonna take... Oh crap, he dropped seven troops. He's dropped his entire army here. He's dropped his entire army on my Bessarabia. Which means that in preparation for a painful struggle, I should unmodball this fort. Our truce with Ottomans has ended. Now is not the time for that. Why did it take me so long to get to Imereti? Because Lithuania hated me at minus 50. Why did Lithuania hate me at minus 50? I wish I knew. We're now tech 4. We're the first in the world to hit tech 4. Take that, Ottomans. I am still guaranteed by uh, Hungary, though, which feels safe. Uh, Air Falls Hill. Uh... You're above average. If you die, it's not a big deal. And the reason it's not a big deal is because when Vlad goes on the throne, I'm gonna get the uh, strong claim ruler anyway. Uh. Taken Basarabia. Of course he has. It took me too long to get there. Damn you, Circassia. Damn your indifference to letting me pass. You've ruined everything. Although right now I think he doesn't know what he's doing. I do have 43% war score. Once I take his capital, I might have enough regardless to vassalize him. But uh, I'll have to see. 
Because he is at low enthusiasm. There's no one else in this war. He's outnumbered. He's outgunned. He's just not out military accessed. Maybe I should keep improving relations with Caucasian. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hungary flipped to 73. What changed? Oh, now he wants all of my face. <sighs> Damn it, Hungary. Why you gotta be like this, man? Why you gotta be this way? We could be the bestest of friends crusading the Ottomans to oblivion. And instead you have to do this to me. Also, Imereti, will you just uh, have your fort fall already? Ah. Food shortage, there we go. Does he have a siege pip? Does his general have a siege pip? He has one siege pip. Damn it! That is not good at all. Oh, and he wall breached. Of course he wall breached. Is he gonna take both of my forts before I take his capital? That would be horrible. Admittedly, this fort was about as hard to siege as a capital, but uh, still. Ah, uh, that's horrible. Yeah, I think he's gonna he's gonna take uh, Gyurgyu before I take his capital with my fort luck that I've been having, and that is gonna be very very bad for uh, vassalizing this guy. I might just run away with some of his coast, but. Of course he took he took Gyurgyu. Of course he took it. Who are we kidding here? Of course he did, and now he's gonna carpet siege me. <sighs> ah. I cannot catch a break. This start is so unforgiving. So very unforgiving. And why am I not improving relations with Hungary anymore? Uh, something just happened. Ottomans declared war, they cite conquest. Oh, look at that, Hungary's here. Hungary's here, but it's not gonna matter, because Hungary's the only one here. And uh, there's no way Tech 3 Hungary can beat Tech 4 Ottomans. That is, uh, nope. Ah, stupid Imereti! I might have had a chance if, like, his fort didn't take this long. If Lithuania let me pass faster. Ah, uh, that is, uh, that is truly disappointing. I'm also looking at the time, and that's about when my stream should end. And I think now is just where I'm gonna call it. This is just gonna be four hours of, uh, failing the Wallachia start. It's gonna be, uh, yeah, that's gonna be what happened. And I don't know if that's what I want to do tomorrow, because... Not gonna lie, this has not been the most exciting thing. It seems the stream has actually, uh, died. Um, or at least the connection has died. So, uh, well, m many reasons for me to just call this now. So I'm gonna thank everyone for watching, whether live or through the VOD. And, um, uh, I look forward to seeing you guys next time, where we'll, uh, you know, either try this again, or try something else. See you guys then.